honest, it's really hard to, to beat teams. It's really hard to get on a real roll. Um, they work hard. They well organized, well coached. They play hard. So yeah, records records are so close, even though they might not feel it. Um, you know, there's, there's margin difference. Uh, you guys got a, a power play goal in the traditional sense, I guess, last time against Yale. Uh, Babchuk was kind of a trailing play kind of situation, but uh, have you liked what you guys have been able to do with a power play recently? Uh, the numbers isn't where you want to be, of course, after a pretty hot start. Yeah, I mean, really, one big difference. We started off hot, and we've been almost trying to light a fire under their arse every single day to just move pucks quicker and attack and we get mesmerized and I feel like we've snapped out of it a little bit. Our, our Just our puck movement, the pace of our puck movement has been significantly better and you know not every power play is off script right and uh, that's what they need to learn and you know, we call that uh, uh, Babichuk's goal last week that's from a scramble and we've been practicing those and we've been practicing what do you do from a scramble and how do you threaten the net and, and, and capitalize on a team that was also scrambling. So I think we're getting better um, on it and it's quite honestly been the biggest thorn in our side this year and if we can correct it and continue our good defensive play, I think then good things can happen. This is not a league game, but it, it must have that feel, if not a little bit more, with, with I guess the stakes being different, but still pretty high. Oh, it feels like a playoff game. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, our guys identified the special games got a few of them right now coming in here. This is uh, obviously the Bears Cup is a special game, the Freakout is a special game, uh, the Blackout is a special game. Uh, right now we're over one on special is the chance to, to win to uh, Also a chance to snap a, I guess a three game losing streak for the Blackout better word last year. Officially the Union Dutchman took the trophy based on the shootout. Uh, does that kind of grind, especially some, some of the seniors that have never lifted the Bears Cup in their careers? Well, I read in their comments it's grinding on them. Uh, <laughs> I didn't talk to them about it. I don't have much for using the past negatives sure. to try and motivate for today. Um, I know that uh, in a series like this, in a, in a sequence like this, where it's once a year, it's a one game weekend event, uh, you know, all of a sudden things happen where it is one, two, three in a row. Truthfully, none of it really matters today. I don't think it draws on anything. The streaks are more indicative of other types of play. But if we can start a streak tonight, I would be really interested in that. And uh, what are your thoughts on, the, I guess, the, the fans coming out? I know RPI, you, you get fans wherever you guys go, whether it's Princeton, New Jersey, or Boston, or you know, the upstate New York. You know, a chance for a lot of folks to maybe who are diehard fans, but also casual fans to watch RPI hockey. Uh, what, what should they look for, I guess, listen for uh, in this one? Well, I think you'll see our team compete. I think we can play in all three zones, all situations, and um, our fans, you know, they're, they're, they're passionate. They bring it every single night, and we love them, and they love us. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thanks. RPI head coach Dave Smith ahead of tonight's Mayor's Cup game. We're about seven minutes from puck drop at the Times Union Center. Teams split their earlier matchups this year, Jeff, and uh, we'll see what comes of this Ladies one. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your RPI engineer. And your union construction. Junior Dutchman Jake Skidowski. 
Kingston, Ontario, number 13, like Zachary Amelio. Looks like Darian Hansen will get the call. He was in that last year. At center, a freshman from Dallas, Best Texas, all number 25, Owen Ferris. At right wing, a junior from Oakville, Ontario, number 27, Josh on defense, a senior from Schaumburg, oh, Illinois, number five, Holyens. The fourth line, Holyens. you mentioned this with your interview with Dave Smith, Rory Herman. On defense, in the lineup is left wing on that fourth line, line. Number center 10, by Ryan Jerry Sidorsky. Daniel DeGrande. He's played 20 games and he seems to be making it. In goal, a junior from East Bethel, Minnesota, number in three, games four, Gary Hansen. He's only got three goals. And the rest of the yeah, game, five stuff. Union is coached by Rick Bennett, really associate head coach is Jason Tapron, sure assistant coaches are John Ronan and Joe Mesa. And now let's get the starting lineup for the RPI engineer. Their starters, Morello, Tur Linden, and Todd Burgess will be starting for us for the engineers. Owen Savory and Perry and Coach Menton mentioned will get the start. And they'll be backed up by Babichuk and Will Riley, the captain, who's leading this squad in points. And that's just something quite amazing to have your defenseman leading the, leading the uh, offense here. He's tied with Chase Zeke with 13 points so far through. Those two are going to have to be really involved here if the engineers have a chance, not necessarily on the scoreboard, but physically. Wings a line of Dubinsky and Polino, smaller forwards, but definitely have a lot of speed as we'll pause to the national anthem coming up. Correction, Jeff Freak, direct your attention to the Union home match and welcome the Union College women's hockey team. Pause here for the recognition of the Mayor, Debbie Sheehan, and Joy Mayor Patrick will now present the Mayor's, Mayor's Cup trophy Cup. to Schenectady Mayor Gary Just McCarthy a few hours ago, and the winners of this nothing. afternoon's Mayor's Cup game, the Union College Dutch women. Women's Mayor's Cup, RBI took that one. They're raising the trophy here and presenting it to the leadership on the bench. Congratulations yeah, once again to this year's winners of the third annual Women's Television Mayor's Cup, the Union College Dutch Women. Let's give them a big round of applause. Now, please welcome Rensselaer's Vice President for Information Services and Technology and Chief Information Officer, Mr. John Cole, Union College President David Harris, and his daughter, Maya Harris. We will be dropping the first puck for tonight's game. We will be the college captain, Josh Kosek, and RPI Harris. captain, Will Ryan. This will start the 8th Annual Capital District Mayor's Cup game. And Josh And now, ladies and gentlemen, to our and respect our country, hockey on the men and women who have served and continue to serve throwing. America, we'll we'll pause. this time, you please rise we'll and remove your caps for the yeah, playing we, we of the national anthems yeah. of Canada and the United States of America by the RPI Pep Band. RPI Pep Band got provided again. They're going to get sore in, in the lips after tonight.
Yeah, so it looked like a totally different game. That big play coming into the field house. Kind of surprising that the RBI can set it in. It early on in the own barn, but whatever. Bennett, Coach Bennett said, that is why after that, that loss, it really just didn't look sharp at all. RPI trying to control that game. And actually, for the first time, RPI outshot Union about four, five, six years. That game where they won three to two. Union ended up outshooting RPI at the field house by the line. Side. He had no clue that Perner was there, and Perner was trying to make a move to get to the red line and dump it in. But just a few seconds earlier, Will Riley easily could have made this a one-nothing game, all alone in the slot to try to beat Hanson up high. And Hanson stands pretty tall in that cage, so he was able to just hold his ground up there. I think the puck got him in the shoulder. Shot in by Union. Around to the near side corner. Played around behind the goal. Savory takes a look. Two and two behind the RPI net. Finally dug out by Josh Kosak. Trying to center all the way through the low slot. Picked up on the other side by Patrick Polino. Big pass or a fan out of pass. And he the pass. Played ahead. Look at uh, Dubinsky. And Zach Dubinsky gets spun around by Bass Polius. Polius now carries it up the near side boards. Top of the near circle. Walking in. Good poke check there by Perner. Disrupts play. Kept in at the blue line, however. Uh, by the Dutchman, and they'll dump it around to the far side. Zach Dubinsky over there. He's roughed up by Gabriel Seeger. Second leading scorer on the Dutchman with 12 points. Taken back the other way by Mike Portal. Is that Perner? That's Perner in there. Back out the center comes Union. There's a man breaking off the skater and Aldi. He can't track it down. He'll eventually push out in front. It tried to center, picked up by Herman. Herman along the near side boards. That'll leave the zone. Right in front of the RPI bench. Now it's back into RPI territory. Seeger trying to find it, but Perner beats him to it. 
Rory Ferner, sophomore from Dakota Dunes, South Dakota, plays it straight ahead. Now it's dumped in by Jerry, who takes a bump and goes down along the far side, puck in the near corner. Herman trying to find it there. Taken back by Chaz Smersrud. He'll throw it to center. Riley will bring it in high off the glass. Rattles around to the near side half wall. Pitching in Mason Klee. Lost the puck. Union back the other way. Matt Allen. Freshman from Smithfield, Rhode Island, trying to walk his way in. And finally, Riley pokes it away from him. It'll be gathered up in the near side corner. Back to the point for Estes. He can't corral. And all the way back down the ice it goes. Darian Hansen to play. Junior from East Bethel, Minnesota is Hansen. And this is his 68th career game, looking for his 30, uh, 30th lifetime victory between the pipes for the Dutchman. Loose puck at center, Cornell moves it in and falls down, lifted back into the RPI zone by Union. In the near corner, uh, Sean Harrison, Junior from Anchorage, Alaska, tries to center for Fu, gets it caught up in his skates, he'll try and track it down along the near side. Parker Fu, a big body. And a much needed one for this Union offense, which has struggled to score at times this year. As Leppin is going to tap it deep. Hansen out of his net to play, wrap it around to the far side for Harrison again, who waits for it at the half wall. Now out to center right. He takes a hit from Burgess, and Burgess the one who goes down, but separates him from the puck anyway. Back comes Riley. Draft choice of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Skating into the attacking zone, makes a move, trying to do it all himself. Finally loses the puck, and it's pulled away by Campolino. Around to the near side, Union zone, one-handed towards the blue line and out to center by Brierley. Now Kosak into the RPI zone, three across the blue line, trying to move in. It was a melophone, and he gets roughed up behind the goal by Linden. Back comes RPI far side, Riley looking for a passing lane, finds two Linden on the near side. He'll pull up at the point, trying to feed it on further. Second try, no, third try, got it off the board. Gathered in uh, by Union's Owen Ferris, a freshman from Dallas. And now Campolito up the far side board, steered off the puck by the engineers, two on two as they hit the line, now three on three, as joining the play is Babichuk up the far side boards, looking for Polino, Polino in the far circle, he loses out there to Christian Sanda, and now taken over by Seeger, out of Uppsala, Sweden, is Seeger, big kid, 6'4", 216, throws cross ice for Campolita, he gets it broken up in center ice by Simon Shelberg. Moved ahead by Polino, two on, uh, three on two. Polino sent it across, blow, deflected off to Vinsky and goes wide. Back to the near point. Chelberg waits for it, top of the circle. Wrist shot coming, hit the base of the net. Seeger now at the half wall, trying to scoop it out of the zone. Gets it as far as center, where it's taken over by Chelberg. Uh, now back to Polino, down the middle, connects to Zeke. Also 15 points uh, for Chase Zeke, six goals and nine assists on the year. He couldn't corral that back to the Union line. Gathered up by Estes. He's being pressured by defense. He just flips it out the center for Fu. Far side connection is Harrison into the zone. Harrison, a long wrister, easy glove stop for Savory. May have been headed wide, but finally, the RPI sophomore netminder gets to touch the puck with 14.40 to go in the first. Well, Perry, both teams have made some pretty critical mistakes, and nothing's really cost them a heavy chance on goal. The Union's had some. Fans, be sure to pick up your 50-50 tickets just outside section 101. Proceeds will benefit the regional food bank. Kind of fumbled the puck. We'll be selecting two winners tonight. First receives half of the 50-50 pot, and the second will win a pair of NHL tickets to a Rangers Devils game at Madison Square Garden. Donated by Chamber Burns and Irish Pub in downtown Schenectady. Set something up on a little give and go there. A couple times. They had some, some good support from their high forwards going down low, but you're right, Lou Riley had a couple chances. One, he just kind of walked into the zone and took a shot, the first one. The second one, he tried to dangle three Union Dutchman defenders and ended up getting back on that same shift to play defense on the odd man rush. So he's got to be careful that he doesn't get caught up trying to do too much. This game too early on, but he's got, definitely has the offensive capabilities to showcase far this year. T-shirt toss going on. Some fake mayors, some mayor mascots here. We see them often at the uh, Valley Cats. They usually race there. I'm not sure they're going to race tonight. Although we'd love to see it. All right. Face off in the RPI zone as we're back after the media stoppage. Wrapped around to Lepinen. And Otto Billy Lepinen lost it in their circle. Get some help there. Uh, from Hallbauer, who moves it out the center. 
Ashford with a crack at it, and then Gornel, but in the end, it's Kosak who spins it back deep into RPI territory. Savory there. Has, a, has had a dazzling start to his second half of the year, or at least the calendar year 2020. Giving just one goal. Hit by Ashbrook behind the union net. Now Campolito's tied up. Scooped on behind by Ashbrook, but the first one to it will be uh, Taylor Briarly, the junior from East Grand Forks, Minnesota. Nearly stolen away by Ashbrook. If he did, he had Cornell cutting to the net with nobody around. But Briarly won that puck battle. Now he has it for Union down the middle. Crossing over the red line, skating far side. He'll ring it in. Stop behind the net by Savory. Move it far side for Clee, up ahead. And nice connection to Linden. Linden in the zone near side, drops it back. Morello in front, shot coming, shoulder, rebound! Linden, and it's put wide. And Hansen went sprawling, he was out of position. But RPI couldn't take advantage, but they never got to that loose puck. It was swept out of danger. Union will gladly take this icing call rather than the goal that could have been coming their way. Yeah, it's going to continue coming, I think. The NGA is going to get more odd man rushes as this game goes on. And Hansen's going to have to get his, uh, he's going to have work cut out for him. But Schoenberg's shot never got to him. It was blocked and run. Not sure by who. But then it's landed on the side of the cage. And Hansen kind of down and out. But it was a little tic-tac-toe. Every pass was within 10 feet there. RPI showing some good hands. Face off win for the engineers. Here's Babichuk. Lost the handle, but does one hand it up the wall for Jerry. Billy Jerry now back to the point. Feeds it far side. Nice catch. Riley, top of the circle, looking for a shooting lane. Center blue line. It's Babichuk, a wrister, and a blocker saved by Hansen. Rory Herman over to gather. Freshman out of Poway, California. Wraparound try. Herman, he couldn't stick it home on the far side. Back comes Allen for Union. He'll skate it out to center. Takes a big hit from Herman. Turns over the puck, and DeGrande will chip it in deep to the far corner. Big run, they tried to throw one, he missed his hit. But RPI trying to send a message there as he just missed Anhorn who ducked out of the way of the high flying Danny DeGrande. DeGrande now, touch pass ahead for Zeke. He carries him far side, two on two with Babichuk. Losing the puck with Zeke, gets it back, drop pass for Polino. A shot from a tight angle goes wide around to the near side and out of the zone. Corey Babichuk back to get it. Freshman from Edmonton, Alberta, chips up the wall looking for Polino. He's the first one, two and ahead of Seeger. Shielding it away from Seeger to the far side corner. Still Polino on the puck. He gets tripped up. Penalty coming. It's gathered up by the Minsky. A shot. And that was held onto by Hansen. And Zeke was in the vicinity looking for a tip. But RPI will go on the first power play of this game. We get some pushing and shoving after the whistle. To a 12 away to go on first. The RPI leading 5 to 1 in the shot department. And in the speed department, you can't really measure because they're leading that too. They're just controlling the puck down the corners. That last hit, good hit by DeGrande, Herman. And a nice little exchange there by Herman. Gets around the net. Polino takes him over and keeps his, his uh, feet moving. And just kind of outworks Seeger there. And he's going to get the stick too low. And here we go with their first power play attempt. Union penalty on number 18. Give it to Seeger. Two minutes forward, tripping. In on Hanson. Two minutes forward, tripping. Time of the Union penalty, 7 minutes, 52 seconds of the first period. As it goes behind, into the far corner, dug out by Ashbrook. Here's Chelberg. Now Hallbauer. He'll take a long wrist, looking for the flexion, backhand shot, and the net is kicked off. Uh, I think they shot from left, and he didn't have a good angle on it from the first place. I think he hit the side of the net anyway, but he nearly got it by Hansen. So it, nice to see that again. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, left and left-handed shot, he's on the side of Hanson. So he, he was on his right wing, but he really want to have an off-winger there to be on that back corner. Have his four right here. But, uh, he never left the side of the cage. Face off win for RPI back to Babichuk. RPI's power play had been struggling recently, but got a goal against Yale last time out. Here's a shot and a save by Hanson on the drive by Polino. Polino has it again, top of the far circle. Down low, trying to snap it in front for Zeke, and it's swept away by Estes all the way down the ice. RPI's pedal, uh, power play has looked dangerous there at 15% uh, even on the year 12 out of 80. 15, what am I talking about? 12 out of, oh, 12 out of 80, it is right, okay. That checks out. All right, near side, Riley, one-timer, a save by Hanson. Rebound, and it's in his glove. Oh, how did that not go? Had a glorious opportunity in front, but he couldn't sneak it by. Did 
Darian Hansen. Yeah, both Dubinsky and Polino, two on O, really in front of the net as Riley kept that shot low. Ends up bouncing off Hansen's equipment right out in front, and then Dubinsky maybe wanted to go to Polino there. It was kind of just shuffling his hook two feet right in front of Hansen. Pretty good, looking pretty sharp. Power play for PCAC play is just 6%, 3 for 49. So they, they're doing better in the overall game. Right, that, that, that tends to the, the, the trend that they were great early. A lot of non-league games early, but not as good in recent. Here's Shelbert off the draw. They set up at the near point for Hallbauer. Okay, I'd love to get him going. Here's a centering pass. Oh, and Ashbrook is at the far post. That puck uh, was zipped by him. Snap to the near side point. Hallbauer, nice move on his backhand. Down low, out of the reach of Cornell, back to pick it up. Now to the near point, it's Shelbert. Far point. Ashbrook steps to the top of the circle. A wrist shot was blocked down and cleared out by Union. 29 seconds to go on the power play. Savory way out of his net. He'll hand it off there for Simon Shelbert. New York Rangers draft choice is the freshman Simon Shelbert. He'll work it along to get off on a change as RPI moves it up the near side corner now. Behind the goal, Estes with a chance to maybe clear. He's met by a pair of engineers. Seven seconds to go on the power play. Johnson blocks it at the blue line. It's getting past all the way down. That'll do it for the man advantage. As the Seeger. And RPI 0 for 1 in the power play. No score here halfway through the first period. Parker Fu intercepts at center ice, but can't keep it. And is moved in by Burgess. Todd Burgess, far side. Pulls up in the corner. The Phoenix, Arizona drops it back to Ferner, a drive, and that one's blocked in front. As Dylan Anhorn, freshman from Calgary, got in front of that one with most of his body. He got it with the shin pad. There's a goofy hop off the glass, but RPI moves it to center anyway. Morello carries in near side boards, looking for a passing lane, trying to beat it in front block. Second try, and that one got to the front of the net where Hansen goes sliding eight feet out of his net. To cover up. Yeah, just a the ability for RPI to gain the blue line has kind of been untouched. We'd like to welcome Ritzley or Alumni at Union College Alumni and all of our fans in tonight's game. Zone, they're, they're Enjoy the game and thank you for your continued support of Cabo District Mayor's Cup Hockey. Keep pucks out of the net and give Hanson a little bit of break, but he's been on top of his game so far, and the engineers just need to keep exposing that neutral zone. That they're able to get cross-ice passes and 60-70-foot you know, passes with some speed. Automatically, you're going to get yourself probably 20 feet into the zone because you've got the D backing up a little bit. They've been able to get at least something on that, even something from behind the net is correct. From the side of the cage, it's because of the angle of the cage, bounced out into the slot. Maybe something out of nothing right now, the engineers, as they hold a 9 to 1 shot to the edge over the Dutchman. What they say for really had to do was go out and fetch pucks off of the And that's every bit indicative of how this first period is going. Kind of what we saw the first time these two teams met back in October. Right. Because how RPI had just a lot more speed and then the rules got reversed the next night. But they were tight games. 3-2 RPI win and then 2-1 Union the next night. Face off in the Union zone. Dodgeman win it, trying to clear it out near side. Kosak. Duels with Johnson right in front of the RPI bench and Melophone with both goals for the Union 2-1 win. What kind of an odd night it was to tell you about that. Melophone, three, he has just three goals on the year still. And six in his career, but two of them are in the same game to beat RPI. It'll be his lasting impression <laughs> on college hockey, I guess. Single-handedly beat RPI. That hops off the stick of Herman out of play. 9-1 to go in the first period. Yes. Seeker, well, I was looking at the first game, oh, too. Okay. Seeker was stuck in my mind and he scored the power play goal at the yep. end. He only has three goals. Right. The RPI, or Union has struggled with their offense. There's no doubt about that. They're 59th in the league in goals per game. That's in all of college hockey. In all of college hockey. So I, when I said that earlier, I was Maybe making more of a light of the back hill score. Anyway, as this back hill, what did they put up against Cornell? Three. Three. Uh, that's, a that's a tough game to score on his RPI nose. Here's a long shot, an easy save on the stick for Saber. That came off the stick of Anhorn. 
also has three goals on the night. Remember, we have three goals in this game. Polino, <laughs> stick handling at the blue line, lost it there. Uh, Sanda just gives it to Shelburne. He says, thank you very much. Now Union catching RPI in a change. Rinaldi is shot with one save by Seabury. Oh, Rinaldi. It's almost a two on oh. I don't know what RPI was doing there. They didn't get it deep. Maybe they thought they did, but they just barely got away from it. Uh, get away with that. It's Seabury Hill. Oh. Yeah, Rinaldi's got four goals on the air, so he can't score yet. He's got to wait for his team to catch okay. up. Yeah. Nice right. play by Seabury, though, one coming seven. out and challenging. Get that glove out there. His first test of the night. Third shot for Union. There's another one turned away on the blocker hand. And right off the draw was Liam Robertson. He has three goals on the year. We'll keep playing this game. As long as we can. Babichok up the near side boards for Lapinin. Takes a bump, flips it deep. Hansen behind the goal, leaves it there. Campolito kind of working out far side. Followed up by the skate of Ashbrook. Now he looks out of play. And if this was a Albany River Rats game, that would be a penalty, but they don't exist anymore, and it's not. So with 7.57 left, on the face off just in the Union zone, and we'll play 5 on 5. Not so much of a league comment, but really a time comment. That one of the pro. Oh, something. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we have that pro hockey here. Face off left to Hansen. We're at the Times Union Center, which is more bowls on this full track. Love to see this. Off the draw, RPI has it, top of the zone, way high and wide. Uh, Singer from Linden. And now Morello in the near corner, stick handling. Union player Robertson lost his stick. Johnson looking for a lane, fires one and the right pass save made by Robertson, or by uh, Hanson, rather. Maybe something to move Robertson. And as the skater pass on tonight. Campolito near side of his own zone, off the glass to center, knocked out of the air by Burgess. Let's play with a high stick, they say, which is fine. 7.25 left. We're scoreless here, but shots are 10 for RPI. And really, as this period winds down, yeah, RPI might be a little frustrated to have to Well, that last one that uh, Johnson let rip, you know, good patience, you know, a little angle there, try to put a shit pad. He got it all the way to the right pad, as you mentioned. And I don't think Hanson even saw it. He just reacted and hit him. So, I think like that, plays like that, you get everybody sucked low, and you get it back to your knee real quick. They just take a little step, get it beyond the shin pad. And that's, we've seen many of those goals score in these types of games. We're trying to get that traffic in front. RPI is so far done a good job. Off the draw, center ice, engineers win it, dump it in. Wrapped around, Jerry takes a hit, picked up there by Herman. Back to the point, nice play. Shot coming, oh, that took a redirection in front of Hanson. It goes wide to the near corner. Flip to center, Union just throwing bodies up ice now, and it's DeGrande playing it backwards. This is the fourth line for RPI. A lot of bangers here. It's Herman distributes some weight in the direction of the double. And another hit is thrown to center ice. You can feel a little bit of the uh, excitement here in the barn. As RPI has been throwing the big hits early in this period. Now Riley in the far corner. Strumming there with Matt Allen, centering pass. That came off the stick of Polino. And he throws his body and partially missed that hit on Smurzerud. As Union breaks the center ice far side. Polius dumps it into the far corner. Riley is there. Bends off Kosan. Played around to the near side. Polino with Ziki. And Ziki who carries three on three into the zone. Drop pass to Binsky. Hops off his stick. Polino trying to find it. Poked to the near side where Dubinsky continues to do battle there. Now Chelbert roughs up a Kosak in front of the Union bench, and RPI takes over in their own zone. Here's Chelbert on the near side. Far side feed, good connection to Polino. Another three-on-three three rush into the zone. Quickly uh, whacked away, picked up Chelbert, slot shot over the top. And Simon Chelbert has made an early career on shots from about that distance. He has four goals on the season. Uh, freshman blue liner from Sweden. It's a good hit, center by Ashbrook, and now Ziki back the other way. Shot to save by Hanson, he'll cover. I don't know if it was just uh, working back-to-back -back women's games, but there's been a lot of uh, hits being thrown, more than we've seen in most games, I think, Jeff. Well, RPI is real fired up after those two successful hits. You just had a feeling that Herman and DeGrande were going to be right in the middle of any physical, and the first guy up to cheer that hit from the bench was none other than Mike Warnell. 
just screaming and pounding his stick on that bench when those two junior players put down in the heat. But you're right, just the physicality right now, the edge is definitely RPI. Big soft far side that's pushed there by Sidorsky. He can't put it in zone. Fed to the near side. Oh, good find. Left with it. Couldn't handle it right away. Looking for the tip in front for Tortle. And it puck played him more than he played the puck. It goes into the far corner. Dug out by the Dodgeman. Picked up Lampinen. He'll scoop it up the wall for Ashbrook. He'll leave it in the corner. Engineers on the attack. Gordle. Handoff. Shot coming. Oh, a right pass save. Johnson trying to throw it in front. Into the mixer all the way through. Now Halbauer down low. Looking for Ashbrook. He lets it run to the near corner. Harrison near side to the point. Johnson. Briarly gives him some room. A shot through traffic. Hit a skate. Might have been Sidorsky. And Union finally going to try to lob the center, and they can. Love down by Lepinen. Cross side speed corner. In front looking for uh, Ashbrook. And this group continues to be successful. Oh, a huge hit there. And this could be more than two. And Sidorsky dumps Ashbrook in. Defending his teammate in front Lepinen. Luckily, Ashbrook is quickly, or at least uh, relatively quickly, back to his feet. Well, that was a dangerous hit by Sidorsky. I think somebody's going to hit the showers on that one. That did not look pretty, and we're going to see it again. Of course, they're going to go right to the replay. We'll talk it over, but that's got to be five, in my opinion. As that's hey, fans, check out the scoreboard. scoreboard. You might be on play. tonight's fan cam. This might not be a very long review. Sidorsky is currently sitting in the box. That might, as Jeff pointed out, he might not take very long. Ryan Sidorsky is a sophomore from Williamsville. I will tell you about it. Williamsville, New York, one goal and one point on the year. Union does address six defenses, so if he is the seven defenses, if he is the one, six. Yeah, I don't know if they're actually going to take a look at this or not. Maybe they're not satisfied with two. Wow. They're not looking for it. I'm surprised. Given that the, his head went in first, and oh, wow, just totally <laughs> wasn't able to defend himself. Definitely seen worse hits than that, being being the result of uh, the game. It, it's it's quite a bit ironic that Union penalty on last night was a limited Sidorsky tonight's men's it's, it's headway foundation Sidorsky, week is for boarding the time of the Union penalty 15 minutes Pushing 19 prevention seconds and awareness of the first period uh, group that teams hold up a banner and say that they support the headway foundation and we have a couple of dangerous hits that last night in the women's game we saw completely uncalled and there we have a, just a two minute penalty now Union trying to break short handed off the uh, face of Kosak is met by Polito and he knocks it away. The second power play for RPI. Looked all for the world like Sidorsky might be kicked out of this game, but you don't so much as look at it. He's in the box for a couple of minutes. And RPI will be on his second power play. See if they can take advantage anyway. Rung in. That takes a funny hop off the glass behind the Union goal. Wraps around to the near side corner. Kept alive by Riley there. One handed up the wall. And now a melophone trying to clear. He's met by Riley at the half board. To the point. Fed across and all the way in by Babichuk. Race for the puck on the far side. First one to it is Dubinsky. He'll fire it in. Around to the near side, Riley there. Gets some help. 108 to go in the power play. 348 to go in the period. Fed across by Riley, but it leaves the zone. Must have a reflection. Now Dubinsky for Babichuk. He'll back all the way up behind the goal, trying to get away from it. Harrison. Far side for Ashbrook. He leaves up into Campbell. He wants to play, but he does get in from clear as Ashbrook is down now. Now it's broken up at the uh, at the Union line. Hits the linesman. And sets Mike Edmonation with a just honor before tonight's game. This is his final game after 34 years of officiating ACAC hockey. He's trying to get one last gift on the Long 
kicked in the back in the clear for his troubles. And immediately turned around and yelled at the union player. And then he, was, he thought it was retribution for breaking off that rush. But you got to credit the Dutchman right there for shutting down their blue line on that power play, not allowing the engineers really to get anything going coming across and even trying to jumpstart some short handed chances with their own. Timeout right now. There's still four seconds left to go, but on the power play, right. We're looking at something regarding time. I think that that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, Coach Smith's going to have to settle his power play unit down. He's got a face off in the neutral zone upcoming, but that probably went all but does it for this second opportunity on the man up. A lot different from their first chance when they had really a lot of good zone time and some chances shot generated. This time, not one. Shots are 14 or 13 to 4. They yeah. have had some good power plays in this game so far. If you look back, it seems like a bit of an anomaly. It seems like Union is the one usually getting the power play chances, but I think that comes with what team is putting the pressure on the other. As Johnson moves in, both teams are now Johnson full strength. Jake Johnson, the sophomore from Bloomington, lost the handle. Now Union breaks the center with a little bit of speed. And they pull up in the neutral zone, turned over. Burgess feeds it near side for Morello. Looking for a shooting lane, takes the shot. The rebound pops free. Around behind the goal, Morello gets wrapped up and taken out of the play. Now Briarly will carry far side. And Taylor Briarly will go backwards as he has no help going forward. Seeger upended by Burgess. Throw it 
far side for Amor. A drive is blocked by Cornwall. Oh, I don't know. Savory. I guess he kept it out. There were plenty of bodies in the way. There's a tip and a save. Rebound kick to the far side for Anhorn. In the middle for Cedar. Near side Rinaldi. Looking for a lane. Oh! in front, we couldn't really see the uh, ball out here, but in any case, 0-0 zero, zero is your score through one period here at the Mayor's Cup. And we got first uh, intermission coming up in just a couple of minutes for the Cigar Guy Hockey Night. <laughs>
Danny Navasi, with the assistance of USFSW Gold Medalist, Hudson Mo Mohawk Figure Skating Club Professional, Gabby Hunter. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hudson Mohawk Figure Skating Club Exhibition Team. Once more from the guess, makeshift press box here, the Times Union Center. We're at Center Ice or thereabouts, Jeff. And uh, actually, love, I love this man. It's probably my favorite place to call a game in all of it. Yeah, this is a really good view for, for broadcasters and cameras. We're probably just, just a couple feet from our main camera one. Just on that last back door play, I was just running right through the audience. You really couldn't see what was going on. That's the only one man's way you saw that first angle where five or six bodies are jammed up in front. Okay. You can't really see how that puck just did not go.
last time the RPI has pulled this Mayor's Trophy. Yeah. I was talking to Bill Hampton about that on the holiday break. I saw him. Yeah, he used to alternate with that thing, right? He said, he said yes, but not anymore. Right, but then the interior swept the regular season last lost the shootout there. Just a few more games. Looks like five more league games. Six, or seven rather. So the standings are going to start being shored down as far as playoff positions. This one doesn't count, but then you got Dartmouth coming up on the 31st, and then freak out, of course, is the non-league Vermont. And then you got six more really important games. Colgate Cornell, that's going to be a fun weekend for you, Perry, I'm sure. What's that? The Colgate Cornell trip in the oh. mid middle of February. Oh no, I won't be on that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's gonna be real fun. It would have been a really fun trip, uh, but I won't be there. No, I will be on the fall the last one of the year though, I think. Harvard, Boston trip, okay. Harvard Darvin. Harvard Darvin. Of course, RPI doing a odd trip out in the middle of ECAC play out to Western Michigan. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, they're Kalamazoo. Been, never been up there, yeah. So that'll be an interesting trip in non-league play. You gotta wonder how that's gonna play a part, all that traveling. They are flying out there, but you gotta wonder how that's gonna, gonna play a part in coming back and being refreshed to go for those last six yep. really key important contests. At RPI, sometimes they find themselves kind of in a hole here in league play, but not so this time. Right in the middle of it, right now in league play. A chance for home ice or more. Yeah, I mean, a, a buy is not out of the question. I know that other teams have a game in hand. So the engineers, this Dartmouth game is coming up next week is real critical because it will be their only league game in a two-week stretch. And you want to try and uh, pick up points where you can, especially a team like Dartmouth, who they would be fighting for for one of those final four spots. Right. As we see, Clarkson and Cornell sitting at the top. Rensselaer, Quinnipiac, and Yale all kind of in the middle there, 15 points. Yale with 12. Colgate with 15 right above them, all with a three-way tie there. Colgate, Quinnipiac, and RPI. And then Harvard and Dartmouth do have a point above. And that's where it all kind of is going to get interesting really late in the game. We'll step aside right before we head back for period number two. You're listening to live coverage of WRPI and RPI Hockey, W91.5 WRPI Troy. Awesome. I want to change some things. I want the moms where I live to have childcare they can trust. I want to make sure my little brother and his friends have a safe place to play. I want to help more kids graduate from high school. Help more hardworking families learn how to budget and save. I want more of my neighbors to have access to healthcare. Want to make a difference? There are so many ways you can. Help create opportunities for everyone in your community. I want to change what I see around you. United Way is creating real, lasting change where you live by focusing on the building blocks of a better life, education, income, and health. I mean, I just want to see more smiles on my sidewalks. Reach out a hand to one and influence the condition of all. Give, advocate, volunteer. Live United. For more, visit United Way at liveunited.org. Brought to you by United Way and the Ad Council. I'm Drew Brees, NFL quarterback for the New Orleans Saints, here with Bugs Bunny to remind you to get moving every day. Because when you get moving an hour a day, you fuel your body and your mind. So what do you like to throw around the football like Drew? Skateboard, ride a bike, or dance in your room. Just move it your way. And be a player. Get up and play an hour a day, Doc. Check out how to be a player at letsmove.gov. Head online to get tips on great ways to get moving every day. At letsmove.gov. A message from the Ad Council and HHS. After I came home from the war, I lost everything. <laughs> my job, 
my family. But this place, this is where I started to put my life back together. A few weeks ago, my husband of 47 years had a stroke. I'm staying here in this room while he recovers. Without this place, I don't know what I'd do. At Volunteers of America, we envision a world where everyone has a place to call home. Twelve years my family lived in that house, then it was gone, washed away in a flood. We were on the street. The day we came here, that's when I knew we could make it. But it's not just about having a place to call home. It's about improving lives. Through our programs and support, our promise and hope, we work so that no one will be left behind. After all, who are we as a society if we don't help those who need it the most? To help strengthen your community, visit volunteersofamerica.org. begin the second period, you'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union which provides the funding for WRPI. What? I already did it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Goodness gracious, I, w I walked away. <laughs> we already thank them. We can thank them again. Thank thanks to the union, really, though. We can't do it enough so we can provide this uh, fine broadcast to you from the Times Union Center. Here we are. Union in their own zone. We're at 13 seconds into the second period. Sean Harrison's going to carry in. And they're offside. Parker Fu. A little bit quick on the draw. We're going to stop it. I mentioned his older brother earlier by mistake, but he's yeah. out across the seas in the KHL. Spencer Fu definitely gave the engineers four years of battles. Now his little brother doing the same thing. Finds himself as the man in front on their power play, Unit 1. Lob to center. Ryla uh, Morello gets bumped. Johnson back to Hallbauer. Sophomore out of Howell, New Jersey. Good connection into the zone for Morello. He'll take a shot blocked by Estes. Out of the play behind the uh, Union net. So RPI still has those great long connections in the neutral zone to spring forwards and back off Union defensemen. As they did early in the first period, got them some north-south offense. Hallbauer, another great pass right there. Kind of gets Morello into the zone. Although Morello elected to just shoot it. That was reflected up into the pen. Face off in the Union end. Shot comes in as a turnaround from Zeke. Kind of a blind uh, whack at the puck. He caught it cleanly, and Hansen had to be ready. We saw a couple uh, of those earlier from the Dutchman side on the offensive side. Now RPI lining that winger. 45 degrees up the circle for that quick shot. And the shot comes, it's blocked. That one off a pad, rebound, turnaround, and Polino couldn't steer that one on goal. Now to the near side, moved out for Seeger, chance for a two on two, and a good play defensively by Cheltberg to calmly step across and break it up. Zeke, cross for Polino. Three on two as they hit the line. Polino steps into the slot, a shot, and he fired wide. Good patience there by Polino, like uh, Johnson before him in the first, just to create some room and step into a real good angle. Just whistled it wide. Looked like it was tailing away all, all the way. And the Dutchmen have a tendency to sag too much and leave, leave that high slot all alone. They're trying to pick up guys in front and they get another look at it as Polino 
aside from Riley's earlier chance, that might be the engineer's second best of the night, kind of from the same position. Face off to the right of Savory. Shot comes in, didn't see it right away. That'll go up in the netting. Savory lets him know. That was uh, Coleus, one of the holdovers, and folks might remember Vast Coleus from quality union teams of the past. He is a senior, I believe. Yeah, he is. Feels like he's been here for a while. Hallbauer behind his own goal off the defensive zone faceoff win. Lepin and near side for Johnson. Return feed to Lepin and a lot of room on the far side. Lepin and makes a move, trying to walk in. Still Lepin in, and he spins around. He drew a hook. Penalty coming up as Ashbrook went careening into the net with one of the uh, Union uh, wingers, actually Smurzrud. And we'll see what comes of this. Looks like Smurzrud's the one going off. Yeah, he had Lepin and tied up as Lepin and did his best to dance around two guys. What a play by. Auto delay as they're going to show it again here on the in-house screen, and then yes, yeah, Mesru just came, comes over and tugs <laughs> on Leppin and then buries Ashbrook. Just pick your poison, I think. <laughs> RPI is going to get their third opportunity. Third power play for RPI. See if they can finally solve Hansen here. Here's Hallbauer at the far point, down low. Linden off of uh, one of the Dutchmen and hits Sanda, and it'll go all the way down the ice. Shelberg back to play. Near side, Holbauer. Back to Chelberg. RPI slowly breaks the center. Chelberg's going to ring it in far side. It'll roll off the dasher into the near corner. Burgess waits for it. Takes a hit from a mellophone. Now he's tied up. There's three engineers over there digging away, including Morello. Finally pops free to the top of the circle to the near side wall. And good play by Morello to keep it going for a bit. Now Kosak has it at center, and he'll whack it on further into RPI territory. Minute 14 to go on the RPI power play. Their third. No score here with 17.42 to go. In period number two, you're listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey, 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy. Perilous Garris and Jeff Morris from the Times Union Center. Here's Zach Dubinsky for RPI, ringing it in for Polino, waiting for it, Zeke. Zeke back to the point. Babichuk, he'll spin it back up the wall for Zeke. Zeke at the half boards. Looks down low behind the net. Polino's Dubinsky got dumped. Right in front of the net, RPI stays on the attack. Polino, far side wall. Petrino's own legs to Riley. Riley walking in, circle, runs out of room. And into Sidorsky. And now Dubinsky will ring it around for Babichuk on the near side. He's in the corner, takes a hit, centering pass out in front, Riley. Steps into a shot. Oh, and Hanson may on the piece. Jam try, no. Dubinsky, near side for Babichuk. Slap shot, blocker save on the try by Polino from the blue line. Now here's Riley looking for a feed in front. Bouncing puck swept away from Babichuk. Union looks to break shorthanded. It's Sanda. He'll take a slapper and a glove save by Savory. He wants to play, but he held it a bit too long for our referee's liking, and we get a faceoff. Seven to go in the power play. 16-40 left in the second to score this game. Well, RPI had their best chances on the power play so far. A couple of rink-wide passes get the guys open. As we see Polino on the replay. He just blasted one of the Blocker saved by Hansen. And Riley looking for somebody in front. And then Savory, he wanted to play that because he knew the Union's killers were gassed still as they try to go up on that rush. Wanted to keep him out there. Draw to the right of Savory. Power play's just about over. Union wins it. Fu took a shot. It was blocked. to Grande skates away with it. So RPI has uh, subbed off its power play group. Both teams are now full strength. In anticipation of the power play being over, now it is. Ferner behind his own goal. Wrapping it near side for DeGrande. He's tied up by Coleus. Harrison trying to dig it out, but it's scooped out to center by the engineers. Near side, Robertson in his own zone. Goes backwards for Coleus, and now he goes behind his own goal, and he's pestered by DeGrande. Again behind the goal, and now Jerry's there. Up the boards, Herman taps it back to the point. Not a lot on the pass. Johnson didn't know whether to go or stay. He likes to just step up and slow things up, and then eventually dumps it in again. Hansen behind the goal. Plays it near side for Coleus. Still looking for our first goal. Tie up, Cornell flips it deep. Ashbrook in the corner. Ashbrook indirect back to the point for Riley. Thought about a shot. He'll go across for Babichuk. He'll throw it towards the net, and a right pad save is made. 
Now another fake shot from Riley. This man was sliding into the wall. That was Santa. Now another shot save. Rebound Herman. He put it high and wide on the backhand. Far side point. Babichuk. His pass was blocked. Picked up by Ashbrook. Now Herman. Up the board, good cycle here by RPI. Cross ice speed, looking for Riley on the back door. And a needed stick there from Sanda. Or Will Riley would have had a back door tap in. Flip to center by Union to alleviate some pressure. Babichuk throws it cross ice. Neutral zone, overskated by Ashbrook. Tipped into the zone uh, by Robertson. Uh, Dutchmen are offside. They have to wait for Robertson to get back. So Engineers able to take over quickly into the zone far side. Tipped in by Ashbrook. Back to get it behind the goal is Owen Ferris, and it's moved out to uh, center by a mellophone. Zachary a mellophone chipping to the far side corner. First one to it, scoops it behind. Too far out of the reach of Kosak, and picked up by Mason Klee. Mason Klee to center, crosses the red line and dumps it in. Oh, what a hop off the wall there. Hit a piece of the boards and just jetted out to the side of the net, but luckily for Union, they were there to cover. Out of the air, it's off the glove of Dubinsky. Played on further by the Dutchman, and now moved out by Morello. He can't control. Shot back in by the Dutchman. A lot of pace on that from Campolito. Savory can't slow it down. Picked up on the far side of the RPI zone by Klee. Far side connection to Zeke. Trying to make a move into the zone. Steps around Sidorski. Gets some help from Dubinsky. And now taken over by Sanda, but kept in the zone by Burgess. Dumped into the near corner. Zeke leaning on his man. He's tied up now, and is moved out by Briarly. 14 minutes to go in the second period. No score, RPI Union, the Mayor's Cup. Poke check center ice, picked up Zeke. Union getting back in a hurry. It's kicked at by Chase Zeke, taken back over by Sanda. Poke check by Zeke at center. Sanda's offside, and the engineers have it anyway. Now the Union moves it back in, a two-on-one. Seeger looking for a lane. Oh, a blocker saved by Savory. And it's a couple times now the engineers have been caught in odd man rushes that time. It was Johnson, the lone man, back, and Seeger couldn't sneak one by the RPI netline. Hey yeah, Chase Seeke got caught at the end of his shift in the neutral zone and ended up broken play at the blue line. They all got confused, and for some reason, Johnson was just left all alone there, and just no one's going to be standing tall on that 2 on one which is pretty much uncontested in the slot Seeger. Get your tickets today. Tries to go short side, blocker side on Savory, and for some reason Savory is just in the zone today. Both goalies giving us shades of last year's Mayor's Cup. Closing the door when needed. RPI, a couple of good chances, a couple of good hits, and then Union, good counter up the zone. Just it seems like everybody's one little swat away from having a broke uh, or an odd man rush here. And Union got the better of it last opportunity, and Savory was equal to the task. Yeah, if, if these guys aren't going to give up a goal, I wish they'd just tell us. We can skip right to the shootout, and everybody can go get a late dinner. <laughs> Is that why they started at 6 o'clock, right? Right, right. They just understand there's going to be a shootout. No goal scored, right? Yep. It's going to be 3-2 now, I promise. <laughs> Face-off win for Union. A mellophone. Get it away from him, please. And scooped out to center by RPI. No team is more afraid of Zachary Mellophone than these engineers. And I mentioned why. He had the both goals and the Dutchman 2-1 to one win at RPI back in uh, October. A mellophone up the boards. Looking for Kosak. Kosak trying to drive the net. Gets a shove. He gets knocked down by Babichuk. Now Babichuk has his stick, or Ferris' his stick under his arm. Now he continues to scrap with Kosak behind the RPI goal. A mellophone gets loose in the near corner. Swatted out to center by DeGrande out of the air. And allows RPI to get a partial change. Coleus picks it up for Union. He skates near side neutral zone. Now to the far side. A little bit of speed into the zone. Vascolius all the way in. Centering pass off a skate at Shelberg. Bouncing puck juggled there by Babichuk. Don't want to do that in the middle of the ice. And luckily for him, it comes right back to him. Off the skate of Gornel. He tries to spin it to center. And the engineers looking a little bit discombobulated here. They're so sharp in that first period, especially the first 10 minutes. And trying to find that again. As it's shot down, it was deflected, says Jason Shaddy. So no icing here. Shelberg. Near side. 
And that's uh, Smurzrud. Pops out in front, and like a cat, Savory puts that stick on the ice, stops the puck, and puts his mid on it. As now we get some uh, extracurriculars there from Fletcher Feynman, who's just happy to be on the ice. A sophomore from Lake Worth, Florida. The first thing he does is go in and <laughs> gives Shelberg a shoulder shiver and puts him down on the ice. And if you only get eight to ten minutes in the game, you might as well make good use of it. I'm sure he's out there, and Coach Bennett told him to, you know, make make something happen physically, which Union has been desperately lacking in this contest so far. Face off in the RPI zone. 12-17 to go in the second. Easy or a clean win, I should say. Campolito shot hammered off the glass. Helped to the corner by the goalie stick of Savory. He's got three assists this year. He's been playing the puck more than last year, seemingly. And when he does, he's benefited from some, some teammates scoring on the other end of those. Some of them have been real good individual plays. One that stands out is the one Burgess scored. He went coast to coast against Canisius. Tie up in the near corner of the Union zone now. Rorello picks out the puck out of a scrum and fires one wide. Cams around to the far side. He'll turn to shoot again. That takes a deflection off of Briarly. And now Burgess tries to pick Briarly's pocket, but it's forced out to center. Here's Fu ahead for Campolito. Crosses the red line and chips it into the far corner of the RPI zone. Harrison has it swatted away. Johnson goes backwards to Ferner. Brady Ferner lost a handle on the puck, takes a hit. Still trying to find a good connection with it. And now Sanda over to help out in the near corner for Union. Forced out to center softly by Morello. And now picked up by Estes. Brandon Estes, good connection to Sanda, trying to chip it around. Ferner and Savory out to play. Kept in nicely at the far point by Estes. Into the slot, a shot and a save by Savory. Juggles the rebound and holds on as Polino goes crashing into him with some help there from Sanda. Savory's got a good stick on his uh, in his repertoire. He's able to play the puck well. That low glass, and we should mention that we have seamless glass along the sides of the rink here at Time Junior, but it's seamed around the end boards, which is while while you've made some Perry's mentioned some goofy and funny bounces that the puck has made, and it certainly made a few. Probably going to see a few more before this game's over. Just don't see a lot of seamed glass anymore in higher levels of play. Face off in the RPI zone, a quick shot goes way wide into the corner. This is lobbed high in the air to center ice, but you have to try a little harder if you want to hit the school board here at the TU. Not quite as easy as the Houston Fieldhouse. Now Lepinen moves it across the blue line, chipping it deeper for Gornel. Gornel and Anhorn go into the end board. Played up the near wall, here's Seeger for Union. Three on three at neutral ice. Return feed for Seeger. Pass Riley, and Riley tries to track it down. He and Seeger go into the near corner. Now Ashbrook, a mellophone, a long shot from the wall, and easily stopped with the uh, paddle of the stick by Saber. He covers up. 10.25 to go in this second period, and we are still scoreless. Union slowly creeping up. Kind of walking their way back into an even game as far as the shots go. Savory's seeing a lot more rubber this period. 5-4 Union in this period, 18-14 RPI overall. Just the overall looks, and they are being a little bit more physical in their own offensive zone, so it's got RPI back on the heels a little bit. Tie up far side of the RPI zone. Shot comes in, easy save for Savory on the long attempt from Kosak. I think at this point they probably just under the impression to get pucks to the net. You never know if he's going to misplay one or have one pop out of his pads into the slot where a fortunate Union player could react to it. Owen Ferris going to get tossed here. Union wins the draw anyway. Long wrist shot and through traffic. Savory makes a stop and gets shoved back into his net by a mellophone. And Jake Johnson doesn't like that. He'll let a mellophone know about it. As that's a dangerous play because your goalie mask, you don't have a lot of protection on the back of your head. And a mellophone just kind of pushed up into Savory after he made the stop. And he kind of went awkwardly into the net. But they look like they've solved their differences for now. Yeah, you know, you, that's exactly the Union's playbook right now. Just what I said, you got to throw pucks at the net. you also got to throw a little bit more at the net. And that could be, you know, an extra glove, an extra body, and 
if it's not a penalty for Union, that's what they're trying to do is get something in his head, get something around. You can see immediately RPI's defenders stepped up on that, took exception. Nothing's going to shake our goalie's focus right now. Face off to the left of Savory as Union continues to climb in the shots department. Draw just sits on the dot. Now Hallbauer comes away with it. Morello down on the ice, and the pass is off the mark. This is going to be icing on RPI. Who lost their stick? I think it might have broke on the faceoff. That's by Morello. I don't, know, the Union I don't see anyone without a stick. Some kind of magic trick. I don't know. The equipment managers get that stick right out there real quick. <laughs> Melophone. And he finally uses his hands to pick it up. It's going to take a while for him to stick handle the stick all the way back to the ice, to the bench. All right. 10.05 to go in the second period. We've hit a bit of a s stalemate here. Off the draw, shot goes wide from Fu, and Savory's going to cover, and then it's Hallbauer with Harrison nipping at the glove of Savory, and he'll take a skate. Yeah, another little extra whack there. <laughs> Looks like Robertson got a little extra whack. Maybe it was Harrison. Was, you know, anything they can do, try to get Savory off of his game as they keep winning draws and keep getting pucks quick to the net. Another uh, face-off to Savory's left. Dubinsky here against uh, Seeger. And one back to the corner. Ferner lost the handle. Shelbert trying to stick in a lot of the zone. Lost it there. He breaks up the pass from Robertson. And now Polino. He'll ring it far side out of the zone. Waiting for Zeke at center. Tipped it along for Dubinsky. He gets knocked down. And Briarly will play across for Fu. Back to Briarly. Center ice flipped into the RPI zone. Pass Ferner. Behind it goes. Here's Chelbert. Dubinsky to center. Good play. Polino trying to poke it on further. Moves it into the zone. Engineers are onside, but it doesn't matter as Union's right back out now. Carried on by Seeger. Near side, Campolino. Top of the circle. Wrist shot and a save with a stick of savory. Behind the goal. Union trying to set things up. Sanda, and that net came off awful easy. Savory just trying to push off the post, and there it went. 9-11 to go. We're going to get a stoppage of play, an immediate timeout here. No score, RPI and Union with a shot squarely at 18 apiece. Yeah, Savory maybe didn't really look like he did much over there. He no. just kind of had to hold the putt post tight. Now they're going to say yeah. no immediate timeout because RPI oh, doesn't deserve a change right. from Savory knocking that off. They're not using the long pegs. I'm not sure if they're using the double uh, brackets there to, yeah. to hold those nets in. I'm not so sure what they're doing. But it is coming off easy as you look out in the crowd. <laughs> no one was even paying attention to that. Went right in the crowd. Luckily, not a lot of zip on it. <laughs> I, I Couldn't like, tell the play started like again. It felt like it was an optical illusion because nobody moved and the puck just like disappeared into the crowd. Now they're going to get there. All right. <laughs> Maybe that was all the plan. <laughs> <laughs> this is agreed upon. I'm going to throw it out of play. And it'll just stop. <laughs> Get a couple minutes to clear the creases out. There's been a lot of activity in them, much more than the first period. As the bullies have seen a lot more bodies in front, especially after the whistle. Owen Savory. Recently, he's had to cover the puck. Probably the last 10 stoppages have been in his glove. He certainly gets his work out, and he's used to it. He's had some high save totals earlier this year. A couple of ECAC awards. Oh, yeah, Savory. I mean, I guess we can overlook it. It's really unfortunate that the goal he gave up at Brown. I was watching the game. <laughs> It was just a kind of a, a broken play in the corner. It popped out to one of the uh, brown forwards, and he just kind of stuffed it in the side of the net. And it was just kind of like it didn't matter. The game was over. It was 3-0 at the time. But th I think everyone can kind of sense it was a little bit of a letdown that they weren't able to get Savory that third straight shutout. And we're doing our faceoff again. <laughs> Even when RPI wins, they can't get a win. Yeah, this is uh, starting to feel like a football game, the pace right now. 9.06 to go. In the second, we're still scoreless. There have been a number of chances. Both goalies have been on top of their game. 
RPI wins this face off and we get to continue and Burgess shoots it out to center picked up by Babichuk lifted off the wall right to Anhorn he'll backtrack in his own zone Dylan Anhorn freshman out of Calgary ahead for Fu Fu cross ice pass into the skates of Harrison goes into the corner Sean Harrison has it poked away by Babichuk RPI's freshman from Edmonton Alberta that could be a long-standing rivalry got Calgary versus Edmonton there. Backhander in front all the way through the crease. And to the near side it goes. Burgess trying to wrap up Coleus, but he gets it deep. RPI hemmed in still. As they've been out uh, not as frequently as they would have liked. Especially not in the attacking zone where they'd rather be. RPI came up with all kinds of fire in the first half of the first period, but it's all but gone now. They need to find something, whether it's a hit or whatnot, to get them going again. This is Gonna be icing on Union, so at least send the faceoff back down in to Dutchman territory with 8:10 to go, second period. RPI and Union are scoreless. Well, Coach Smith at the top of the broadcast kept mentioning last year's Cup as play on one side of the ice. Kind of seeing that again. Yeah. That's yeah, bizarre. Nobody wants to play on the current side of the ice, which would be Union side right now to our right, right of the benches. I guess that would be good news at least to RPI. That'd be two periods in the, on the good side. Oh, maybe it's something with the long change. I don't know. Johnson shot block, bouncing puck in the air, stays in the zone. Leppinen trying to fire it down low. Glove down by uh, Ashbrook, and his tight angle shot is turned away by Hansen. An awkward play and a good heads up move by Leppinen to try to fire it down low, trying to catch the Dutchman out of position. Here's Sidorski in the near side. He takes a hit from Leppinen. Polius keeps the puck behind the goal. Watch by Gornel. Slapped off his stick. Polius gets it back, plays it around for Sidorski. Lifts it off the glass behind Polius. And now played near side. And Melophone gets roughed up. And Ashbrook just shoots it back into the Union zone. Finally fed back to center for a Melophone. A Melophone stick handling in the loosest sense of the word or phrase. <laughs> and then it goes out of play. And we get a stoppage again. He's had enough, and he'll shoot it into his own bench. Try to restart. Yeah, I don't know what that was. You got the curved glass yeah. going into the bench, too. That doesn't help anybody. No, he's 6 2. He's got a tall frame. He's got a long stick. And you know, sometimes the puck just looks like it's dangling out there. <laughs> Face off win for Union. Campolito shoots it in. Seeger near side. And now behind the goal, it's Rinaldi. He gets tied up by Ferner. Union tried to walk it out in front, but it was broken up nicely by Dubinsky down low. And now here's Seeger again, using his big body to shield it away from Dubinsky. Kept in, right onto the tape of Dubinsky. He'll feed it far side for Zeke. Jay Zeke on the move. Makes a move, drops it back to Chelberg. His shot's blocked, loose in the slot, all the way to the near side for Polino. He'll take a tight angle shot that hits a skate and goes off the side of the cage. Back to the point, a bouncing puck will be kept in by Chelberg. Actually got a lot on it as he slams it back into the near corner. A little shake and bake from Polino. He's tied up by Campolito. And now Zeke does battle with Rinaldi. Gloved down here by Babichuk at the near point. Kept in the zone. Zeke hand off to Binsky. Into the slot. A shot gets blocked down. Good uh, close uh, passing play there for RPI. This left the zone, I think. Well, no, it didn't. RPI continuing to put the forecheck pressure on. Shot off the near side boards. Played up the wall. Reaching forward is Sanda. He gets... Bumped there by Babichuk and now picked up by Billy Jerry. Forward to Grande, goes cross ice for Herman. Herman high in the air to center, come down in Union territory. De Grande putting the wheels on. Throws a hit in the corner, then goes down. Back on his feet, De Grande. Up the wall for Herman. Trying to feed it back to the point, now he'll go down low. Rory Herman on the move. California kid into the corner. Still Herman. Backhand shovel pass near side Riley. Into the slot, Riley on his backhand. Still Riley, backhand shot. Oh, a save, and Jerry. That puck didn't come off for him. He might have had a chance to stick home the rebound. Now Jerry high slot. He makes a move. Jerry just lost the handle into the corner, goes to get it and ships it further for DeGrande. Behind the net, picked up by Herman. He's had a pretty good game here on this fourth unit. Trying to walk it out in front, Herman. Oh, and it skipped off his stick, and Hansen covers. Oh, my. Rory Herman nearly had his first collegiate goal. Yeah, I mean, how many RPI engineers did we just sit, see take liberties with the slot and the and the house, as it's called, right in front of Hanson, Will Riley just walking in, and Bill Jerry almost comes in on the puck on a string, and then Rory Herman, the trifecta, dances around the Union defender and gets, I don't even know how he got a shot off on Hanson, but it did end up right on Hanson's paint, and Hanson was
forced to have his paddle down and make a play, but the engineer is now coming alive with just a couple of minutes shy of five minutes left to go in this frame. 5.28 to go in the second. Sidorski, third try, got the pass away. Far side, Robertson broken up. Out of the corner, Burgess a shot to save. Rebound kicked wide by Morello. Now Morello again over for Linden. Back to the blue line, near side, Hallbauer. He fires one down low, looking for a deflection. Burgess, and that one goes wide. Morello on the far side, shielding the puck to the high slot, near side, Hallbauer. At the wall, back to the middle, kept in the zone. And picked up in front, Linden trying to walk in front. Shot was saved by Hansen, and he holds on. 4.55, and these two goalies for the second year in a row are putting on an absolute clinic. And just as we said, this pace has picked up a mile. Wow. Just barely keeping that in and finding Linden on the doorstep. What a, what a stick pickpocket play there by Linden. Turns around, has about five feet to work with. Wasn't sure what he was going to do on Hanson. I'm not sure if he elected to go five hole or not, but he's Hanson giving a word to his team on the bench as both uh, players and goalies and everybody else is gathered because it's a media timeout as they take a look at the hold there by Morello at the blue line and then Linden just tries to walk in and he kind of fanned and flubbed on that backhand. I'm sure he wanted to go through the five hole with a little bit more steam than that, but he kind of flubbed it and went into Hansen's chest as he was down in the butterfly position. I was taking a look at Sand there earlier. He went down kind of gingerly in the defensive zone for the Dutchman and went back to the bench without his stick. Immediately took his helmet off, so I'm not sure if he's okay or not. He still has his helmet off on the Union bench. A clean hit. It looked like and was decided upon, I think, by everybody here. So he just maybe went down. It looks like he's got his stuff back on, so it's good to see no injury there. As now RPI has got some offense in their sticks in the last three minutes. Union wins the defensive zone draw and fires it around to the near side, kept in by Chelberg in the slot. Goral trying to find it. Swept away by Briarly. The last ditch effort to get it out of trouble. Now it's lifted up the near side boards. A melophone on the chase. Ferner has a step on him, but that long reach of a melophone pokes it away. Now he's tied up in the corner. Up the near side, boards Gornel just trying to play it out, but he threw it right into the tape of Campolito at the point. He'll filter it back down low for a melophone. A melophone. Campolito is shot through a screen and a save by Savory. Just in good position to make that stop. Now here's Anil Vile Lapinen on a Espoo Finland trying to go coast to coast. Hands it off to Ashbrook, but he had pulled up at the point. Still gets to the puck. Now chopped to the near side corner. Union end. Worked up the wall. Ferris. Around to the far side, it'll be picked up there by Kosak to center. A melophone touch pass far side into the zone. Briarly, he'll drive the net front. Shot to save off the mask. It's in the net. Oh my! A fortuitous bounce for Union, and the Dutchman take the lead. I think it's going to be Briarly's goal, but I'm not sure what that hit last. In the end, just fell over the shoulder of Savory. It's one nothing Union. Savory makes the mask save. And it bounces off in front of him. I'm not sure where it went. I don't know if it hit the pipe or hit his equipment and bounced back towards him. There was a defender. I think it was Babichuk on the play. There is the initial shot. Oh, and it went right off of it went right off of uh, Briarly's stick on a second attempt. Wow. That's what it looked like to me. If we see the replay again, I'm not sure, but. It looked like he swatted it right out of midair after the initial shot hit Savory's mask. So one nothing Union takes the lead against the run of play. Although that seems to have not much a factor on scoring as the series goes. Here's Polino now skating top of the zone takes a shot tipped on goal once second try now towards the net penalty coming where's the puck and I guess not in the net as Polino gives a couple of cracks there to Parker Fu. As I don't know how that puck didn't go in. There was an engineer careening towards the cage. 
He was being held. That's what the penalty is going to be, I think. Yeah, and if he doesn't get held there, that's a goal. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a good penalty to take if you're Estes. It's, you see oh, it yeah. there. So, Zeke, it was getting held to the net. I mean, initially it hit off the skate, so I don't know if that would have counted if it did go in. I thought it hit a, yeah, I'm not sure who skated it hit. Was it, was it Zeke's skate? It looked like it, Zeke had to skate the puck to get it where he wanted it, but then he just couldn't get a stick down because he was tied up by Estes. And in any event, Hansen gets back and play is blown dead and Estes to the box for a hook or a hold, I'm sure. And RPI will go on the man advantage for two minutes. Well, good answer by RPI, though. Doing what they've been doing the last three minutes. You know, don't let an odd bounce get you down. It ends up in the back of the net. Just come out and keep doing what you're doing. And try to get the power play awake. Third power play chance here for RPI as Babichuk pokes at it. Penalty is on uh, somebody. Was it the fourth power play chance for RPI? A fourth chance for RPI. Penalty was on Estes for hooking in the end. Here is Polino. Drop pass Babichuk. Stick handling through center. He'll move it in far side. Babichuk pulls up at the half boards. Try to play back to the point. There are two Dutchmen there. Just giving away to Zeke on the near side now. Picked up by Polino. Polino down low at the near half boards. Patrick Polino, senior out of Buffalo. Back to Polino, looking for a lane. Cross ice feed behind Riley, and he'll go back to get it along the boards. Will Riley up top. Babichuk back to Riley. 2.45 to go in the period. Shot to save. Babichuk, uh, Dominski scores! He lifted it over Hansen. And we're tied at one. Finally, RPI gets a power play goal. And that's big. Savory way out of his net to get pumped up about that, getting it back. Both on the power play, Dubinsky left all alone in front, and that's been kind of a theme with both of these kills. They just leave that guy in front and see if the puck just can't get there, and Hansen just had trouble picking that one off Dubinsky's backhand. Nice hands by Dubinsky. We've seen him do this before. Riley gets it to the net, screen, and then Dubinsky just to turn around to his back toward Hansen as he scored that goal. Good answer by the engineer. 1-1 one, one game, under three to play. Schellberg in the corner of his own zone, takes a bump, comes free to the near side. RPI one for four on the power play now, as Morello is going to clear it out to center. Estes carrying out of his own zone. He's watched by Linden. Hops off a skate. Union will have to go back to its own zone to pick it up. Near side or excuse me, behind the Union goal, it's Estes. Fed up the wall. Shelbert tapped into the zone, played there by Anhorn. Gloved down, no, not gloved down by Morello. Out to center it goes. And now Estes again, trying to get away from Jake Morello. The senior from nearby Slingerlands, looking for his first Mayor's Cup win. The senior class for RPI. This is their last chance as RPI ices the puck here. 145 to go in the second period. Tie game, 1-1. One, one. Shots are 26-19 in favor of the Engineers. Jake Morello finds himself on Linden and Burgess line. They got caught on that icing. Right out there again, so. You don't get to see how often Savory rebounds from a, a goal like that either, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, we got a penalty coming up on Ferner as he kind of tackled Foo in the corner. Isn't really a board. It's more of a hold or a bear hug. Ferner can't believe it. <laughs> I, the, don't, I think the boards have to be involved for a board. That is true. I mean, it was maybe, it was, the, maybe the tip of their helmets touched the board. I feel like it was more of a tackle. We don't got We don't have a. That's what I thought too. The first time I saw it is. It's a, I think the boards were involved, but in any event, it didn't look legal. That's for sure. You're going to need a better angle on the replay, which did not include the, the alleged penalty against Brady Ferner. So a power play for Union is their second. And if nothing else, the officials have pulled Union a little bit closer to evening the penalties in this game. Union out of its own end. Moved in far side. Johnson breaks it up and clears it down. Play by Jake Johnson, who's back after, as Coach mentioned, who's uh, ill for the last weekend road trip. 
Glad to have Johnson back here. Under a minute to go in the second, so this penalty will carry over for Union. Barring a late goal in the period, save for Savory. Rebound just popped out in the middle, had teammates help him out. Babichuk able to clear it down. Hansen stops it there, so we figured out these two goalies aren't human. <laughs> it's been, we're almost five full periods without a goal between the two. As this is gloved down far side by Robertson. Went up for a jump ball. Now Savory's going to leave it behind for Klee. Klee's going to try and ring it out near side. Colia stops it there. Now another play by Klee along the near side boards. Takes a bump, goes down. Clearing effort kept in by Campolito. Now Coley is top of the zone. 15 seconds to go in the period. Colia's looking for a lane. Far side. And it's pulled back by Allen. Now Colius again. Shot comes in, hit a skate. Rebound clipped away. Out to center with four. And now Colius at his own blue line with one. That will do it. Shots on goal in the second period. period. Babichuk oh, gives it a late coach check for good measure. We didn't think we were going to have a goal. We finally got one as Union scored first. It was Taylor Briarly with his first of the season, second of his career in his 65th game. And RPI answering as Zach Davinci scores just his second collegiate tally in his 19th game, the freshman out of Highland Park, Illinois with a big Mayor's Cup tally to tie it up at one. Yeah, I hope you don't have to look that one up as far as how many period minutes have gone by without a goal between these two clubs. Could be <laughs> something. Well, in Mayor's Cups, I guess. Well, I was just in, yeah, I guess it was two to one. Cup, and yeah. it, was two, it was two to one last, uh, last time out. I guess if you take that and not take this play, but yeah, yeah, right. and welcome the winners of this Something year's about this building, maybe. Yeah, we didn't. We only had one, well, two goals in the women's game earlier, but it took until six minutes left in regulation to get one. Maybe an empty netter. Anyway, we're going to step aside here and come back with our second intermission. Your score once again after one is RPI 1 and Union 1. You're listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey on 91.5 FM. WRPI Troy. Following is a public service message of this station and call to recycle. Hi, this is Richard Karn, asking you to help protect the environment by recycling your old rechargeable batteries and cell phones. Chances are you already recycle paper, glass, and plastic. It's just as important to recycle old cell phones and rechargeable batteries. They're the kind you find in power tools, cell and cordless phones, laptop computers, and other cordless electronics. It's easy. Just take that old rechargeable battery or cell phone to any participating retailer. Home improvement centers, electronic stores, and other retailers all across America have joined the nonprofit Call to Recycle program. To find a participating drop off location, call toll free 877 2 Recycle or visit us online at calltorecycle.org. Recycling old rechargeable batteries and cell phones is easy and it's free. Please answer the call. To recycle. Uh, can I ask you something? Sure. There's this girl I kind of like. Say no more. You just have to impress her. Okay, but how? Just, I don't know, pick up a lot of heavy things around her. Like what? You know, desks, chairs, people. Grunt if you have to. Grunt? Yeah, be like, oh! Uh, yeah! uh, there you go. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. When you adopt a child from foster care, just being there makes all the difference. To learn more, call 1-888-200-4005. A public service announcement brought to you by Adopt US Kids, the US Department of Health and Human Services, and the Ad Council. here RPI and Union the Mayor's Cup we have a scintillating little chippers match going on here between red and white and we got this young lad with a GoPro and he's got some handles to boot probably showing off too much 74 with the GoPro junior engineers versus the, the junior, junior Dutchman. Dutchman we how many goals do we have we just have a junior engineers goal right 
I believe so. And then we have a, well, could have been a penalty shot. Yeah, it really would have been a penalty shot if we had officials. There they go. So, uh, late attempts. Oh, they're, no, they're not leaving. <laughs> they're having too much fun. Amazing how they get him to listen so quickly. <laughs> Can't get your club guys to listen to you. <laughs> We got, uh, we're in the second intermission. Intermission here, RPI and Union of the Mayor's Cup. Uh, Perilous Garris, Jeff Morris, and uh, a 1-1 game. And we've got two late goals after what really was a similar period to the first, kind of in reverse order. Yeah, we saw the Union Dutchman come out flying, really, and shutting down the neutral zone play of the engineers, really stymieing them to get anything deep into the goal line and create chances in and out. Everything's kind of been rush based. And uh, we saw a rush goal for Union, kind of a broken play at the blue line again where Babichuk seemed to give some space to Briarly. You don't see Briarly rush a lot. He's only got two assists, his first goal of the year for yeah. Briarly. He's able to come down and he showed some great hand-eye coordination. First a little chip shot on Savory, bounced off the helmet, right back in midair, and I think, I don't know if we're gonna look at this slowly, but looks like he swatted it right out of midair into the net, right in front of Savory's face. So credit with some athleticism and hand-eye coordination to Briarly. Just his second goal of his career. The seventh point so far through 65 games. And then just the shift later, the engineers come back with what they had been doing the previous few minutes and really nose down towards the Union side of the ice, getting pucks deep on Hanson. They seem to get it together about seven minutes left in the period and Union scored with about five, four and change left. And then RPI stayed with it, drew a penalty as Zeke was going hard to the net on a puck that bounced off of the skate. I'm not sure that would have gone in, or if it did go in, would have counted. As he looked like he redirected his skate to get that puck toward his stick. I'm not sure he was trying to kick it in, but he was trying to get it to a place where he could shoot it. He had an empty net. Hanson was way out of, out of position there, but he was getting hooked by Estes on the back check. And that, of course, gave Estes a two-minute trip to the bin. And the very next shift, RPI settles down their power play. Will Riley gets a puck through traffic. And Dubinsky standing right in front of Hansen, let it, lets it go off Hansen, turns around with the backhand. And just chips it over Hansen's equipment and evens this game up at one. So that's where we ended up. Some strong play and some strong rebound work by Dubinsky to give the fans here of both colleges something to cheer about. It might come down to who makes a critical mistake in the third period. We've seen some odd man rushes and some speed generated through that zone. Union had a couple of bad changes early on in this game. They seem to have calmed down, especially with the late or the long shift, rather, or long change when they swap ends. But now they'll be back into their short shift benches. So their defensive zones will be closer to their benches for the shift. So we'll see if that plays into any part of it. Usually when you with a bad change. It's usually in the second period when you're farthest away from your end. But for some reason, Union had trouble in the first period and let some odd man rushes go. They seem to calm that down and solve that. So we'll see if Hanson and Savory can be as good as they have been. 27-21 RPI in the shot lead through two periods. I'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union, which provides funding for WRPI and all club-related activity of the Institute, including WRPI's coverage of hockey, football, and baseball. WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your browser to WRPI.org. 
You can pick up our broadcast 24 hours a day and seven days a week. So long as WRPI is broadcasting. We're going to provide that broadcast on our internet feed. Four streams to choose from. Four bit rates. For whatever and wherever you may be, once again, WRPI.org. You're listening to live coverage of Engineer Hockey. 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy, Jeff Morris, Perry Lascaris from Times Union Center, Albany, New York, Mayor's Cup, non-conference action between two ECAC rivals. And a special game as Coach Dave Smith from the Engineers alluded to at the beginning and all week, really, as all four coaches, the women, played prior to this game at 3 o'clock. Dutch women taking their first ever Mayor's Cup by a score of 2-0. All four coaches this week out there promoting this, both colleges and the mayor and all the council members. Getting the Capital District revved up for some good collegiate hockey and they have certainly delivered it so far through 40 minutes. A tight game. Not necessarily defensively at all. It grinded down for a little bit there in early stages of the second period. Both teams, we saw our first icings of the game in the second frame. And then a couple of face-offs, or not more than, more than a couple, probably six or seven in a row that ended up being stopped abruptly, mainly from Union just shooting it on Savory and whatever they were doing. Ended up working as Savory couldn't control that rebound for their first goal, so telling Perry it'd be interesting to see how Savory reacts to a goal that he might want to have back or thinks he should have controlled it better off that rebound off the mask. But as I said, not much you can do with that shot. He had good position and Briarly with equally good hand-eye was able to spot that. Not, just not going to get that off enough of play, especially from a defenseman coming in. RPI seeming to have way more of the critical shots in between the hashes in the slot area. They had an edge in that period of shots by a, by a tally of 13 to 12. Face off, Union slight edge, 25-23. And RPI, Kerr Linden for the best, eight and eight. Zabinski, seven and four. All right, we're going to take a quick break here. Come back with the third period. 1-1 one, one game, RPI and Union in the eighth Angle Mayor's Cup here on 91.5 FM WRPI. Troy. There's no question that a single instrument can sound beautiful, but place it next to a different yet equally beautiful one, and the result can be magical. It's like the harmonies created in a diverse neighborhood where folks from different religious, racial, and cultural backgrounds all lend their own unique tone to the community voice and community spirit. Diversity promotes a greater sense of engagement. It lessens racial stereotypes. It better prepares our children for the global community they will inhabit. In fact, neighborhood diversity doesn't just sound good, it sounds great. To better understand the benefits of diversity, log on to richerlife.org. That's www.richerlife.org. A message brought to you by the National Fair Housing Alliance in celebration of the 40th anniversary of the Fair Housing Act. And the pitch. Dave just pitched a tomato, which won't work. But a healthy, vegetable-filled diet could give you energy to hit that grand slam. Run, throw, think, eat better. Can your food do that? Find out at smallstep.gov. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Energy hog to team. Get in that house and waste some energy. No problem. It's got leaky windows. And no attic insulation. <laughs> This house is under attack by energy hogs. They show up anywhere energy's wasted. The washer, it's not energy star rated. You have the power to get rid of energy hogs. Someone's home! He's got energy efficient light bulbs. Go to energyhog.org for fun games and lots of hog busting tips. Energyhog.org, that's it, get out of there! Wait for me! Brought to you by the Alliance to Save Energy, the Department of Energy, and the Ad Council. 
I know, being a college freshman is supposed to be tough, but let me tell you about my schedule this semester. All 18 credits. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I have American Lit at 8.05 a.m. And then I only have 15 minutes to get to my 9.15 Ethics and Value Theory class all the way across campus. Then in the afternoon, Calculus 1. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have two lectures that go through lunch, Sociology of Families, then Intro to Microbiology, pre-med. And finally, I have a double lab that ends around 9 p.m. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you. If a kid will do whatever it takes to get through college, what will you do to send her there? Please support the United Negro College Fund and call 1-800-332-UNCF because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. A public service brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. time here tonight at the Times Union Center. RPI Hockey on WRPI. Carlos Garris and Jeff Morris at the Times Union Center. 20 minutes left to decide this one, or maybe five minutes more, or maybe an unofficial shootout. But let's not go there, because I don't want to again. <laughs> Werner's going to have 25 seconds for the Fox. He's got to sit the remainder of his two-minute minor for tackling Parker Fu in the corner towards the latter stage of the second period. So RPI will begin this on the kill. They've been perfect so far in that department. Face off at center. RPI will kill off 25 more seconds of uh, time here, or try to. As it's back into the engineer's end, Johnson will clear this one up the near side boards and all the way down. Hansen from behind his own goal, leaves it for Estes. And now a drop pass at center. Moving out, Seeger into the RPI zone, turned away by Johnson again. Good to have him back in the lineup as he makes a nice play again. Out of the box is Ferner back to even. And the engineers quickly back on the attack in the near corner. It's Gornel scooping it up the boards. Uh, can't clear the zone. Second try. They do on the skate. And Horn leads the rush up ice near side. They're offside. And we'll stop play. 43 seconds into the third. Well, it's good to see RPI holding the line a little bit there. Something I haven't seen them do so far. Since the first period, really, so, yeah, trying to force Union to hold up their rush. Union 0 for 2 on the power play now after that. We're another jump of the gun here, this time Owen Ferris for Union. The goal on the air. Yeah. Oh, just jumping in. Can't do that. So we'll redraw it again, and RPI wins this time. Tipped deep by Burgess. Behind the goal, Sidorsky gets run into by Morello. Sidorsky again, back between the legs of Linden, and now it's uh, picked away by Kosak, and he'll move it out. Cross ice feet is a good one to Vascolius into the RPI zone. He gets stood up there by Klee, taken over by a Melophone. Melophone got his skates caught up in Chelberg's uh, stick. Now a centering pass is intercepted, and RPI trying to move it out. A little bit too fine there for Linden. Going to be a little more assertive. Union keeps it in on the far side. Now they're on the near side. Good poke check by Chelberg, breaks things up, gets a second try and clears it out to center ice far side for Burgess. Burgess across the red line, takes a look, goes backwards with it to Riley. We've seen more of that RPI trying to be more of a, a possession team as Babichuk throws it across the front of his net. Got the job done, it was just a little bit scary, and now here comes Polino far side. Around the goal he goes, takes a hit. Picked up by the goal scorer, Dubinsky, momentarily, and then moved out by the Dutchman. Kicked into the zone by Babichuk, keeps it alive. Knocked down, far side, Polino. 
And now Dubinsky tries to push it behind the goal for Zeke, intercepted by Campolito, and the Dutchmen are out to center. Far side they come. Smersrud, or Smedsrud, excuse me. It's one of those that'll give me trouble forever. Here's Dubinsky. On the carry down the middle. Still Dubinsky into the zone. It finally was poked off his stick and brought back the other way by Smezrud. Nice move by Rinaldi. Steps around one engineer. Looking for the wraparound. Centering pass broken up by Savory. Chip to center. Trying to get there as Polina, but he can. And Estes has it for Union. Now Rinaldi's tied up and taken down by Zeke on the far side. You can tell Rinaldi was looking for something. It didn't get it there. Johnson runs into Sanda, and then Sanda takes a tumble. Is a, I'm not sure you're going to get those calls here in the third period of this game. This is a potential icing here on RPI, and Estes will meander his way back. They wave it off anyway. Far side, Sanda on the carry for Union. Three minutes gone here in the third. 1-1 RPI and Union. Neither team has taken a hold here in this final frame. De Grande stick handling. Far side Union zone now. Takes a shot. He fired high. Looked like uh, similar to the goal he scored against Brown uh, last Friday when he picked out the top corner against uh, Nieto. Now we get a stoppage here in an offside. 16.38 to go third period. Still 1-1. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting for De Grande to break out. And all he has to do is really find that corner like he did in Brown just more often because he has the ability to gain the zone with such speed and rip shots and they're just dangerous from the top of the circle, his release. Lapping it off the draw, you're right, no, he's he seems like on the cusp. Tie up right between the benches at center ice and it'll be chipped deep by the engineers. Stopped by Hansen, Briarly leaves it there for Campolito as Gornel throws a hit into Briarly. Spinning puck at center played by Shelberg who gets dumped by a mellophone and the puck goes into the bench and then Ashbrook steps up to a mellophone and he gets rejected as well and they have a few words and public enemy number one yeah. here. Number 13 yeah. on the Dutchman. Everybody in a white helmet's got something to say to him. Yeah. And it's good that RPI is just not taking anything Really maintaining any kind of mental game, they got to take mentally tough yep. in these types of games. Their discipline has just helped them throughout the year. They've got to maintain it now. Center ice draw won by the Engineers. Face-offs are 27 to 25 RPI. They get it deep, some room for Linden trying to center. He threw it off Rinaldi and it goes just wide behind the goal. Dangerous play there. Now Rinaldi speeding ahead, poked at by Riley and he picks it away and shoots it off the boards the other way. Now Riley trying to step around Sadorski. He gets dumped there. Burgess, backhand, blind pass behind him. Babichuk put it wide. That would have been something special. Babichuk still on the puck. Carries it to the far side half wall. Back up top for Riley, snaps a quick shot, deflected. And that one caught a skate. I think it hit Linden on the way. Tip to the near corner. Now Burgess trying to walk it out in front. That swatted away to the near side. To the near side, Johnson just across the line. And he's a little bit upset that he wasn't able to keep that one in the zone as RPI had something brewing. Yeah, they had Dutchman off on their heels there for a second. And again, Hansen makes another save, which I don't think he saw. But he just had his large pads along the parallel to the ice to make sure it did nothing low that went in and it caromed off that pad. Good traffic in front, and what a play that set up almost a Babichuk's back door. Face off win, neutral ice RPI. Hallbauer rings it in. All the way around to the near side it goes. Estes off the boards, and that's back out to center ice as Johnson couldn't keep it alive. As that one bounced on him a bit. Now chipped in by Polino. Avoids a hit, dumps it deep. Estes near side again. Waiting for it along the near side was Colin Schmidt. He's wrapped up by Johnson. Puck goes back in deep. Anhorn near side. And now it'll be Harrison trying to get it out. Chips it off the boards, off of Dubinsky. Back out to center. RPI has to touch up as Dubinsky shoots it back in. Behind the goal, Estes. Five minutes into the third period. And we're tied at 1-1. Goals from a defenseman, Briarly is first to the year. And the freshman centerman for RPI, Zach Dubinsky, with his second goal of the season. Both coming just minutes apart in the second. 
RPI on the power play. So it's a back-to-back -back goal, back-to-back uh, -back games now for RPI with a power play talent. Puck gets chipped out of the zone, so we'll have a media timeout, and RPI just sending one player in and not really forcing an issue on the forecheck right now. Tonight's trying to clog up that neutral zone. Our ticket numbers, two two in. seven, three, four. Just try to Correction. force a Union three, turnover. Seven, Union hasn't four. been the steadiest five, of seven, three, six. handlers and of the puck when three, they cross their seven, own blue four. line. Five, eight, they really five, haven't three. been Again, those are spreading seven, out the engineer four. speedy five, defense. Seven, three, six. And Even when they had some speed, RPI's senior captain, Will Riley, were able to turn around and make a nice play off of his heels and get back onto that puck. They seem to be out physically. Mustering the Dutchman of the Union. I mean, only really a mellophone looks like he's been maybe the most physical player in the Dutchman's arsenal right now. Everybody else is just kind of taking their beatings. And Ashbrook, Gornall, and they've been two of the leaders in that department, along with De Grande and really the entire defensive staff. The engineers have been really physical on their side of the net. So it'll be Ashbrook and Ferris to take a center ice face off as that one got chipped out of the zone. Yeah, center ice draw, who pushed ahead, backhanded into the corner. And Gornel waiting for it at the far half wall. Couldn't slip it by Campolito. Giving him a hard time there on the pinch. Through some legs to Ashbrook, and RPI's out to center. Tristan Ashbrook drops it off for Lapinen. Backhand across for Johnson. Throws into the mixer. That hits a skate. Union tried to clear, but not very convincingly. Now turning with it, Gornel. Feeds it back to the point. Mer uh, Hallbauer takes a shot. That one hit a body. Tip to the corner. Good pinch there by Johnson. Keeps it alive. Johnson runs out of room. Hands it off to Lapinen. They both get crunched as the puck is played towards the far side. Kept in by the skate. Johnson was actually standing on the puck for a moment. And that's not easy to keep your balance. He's able to work it across neutral zone for Hallbauer to shoot it back in. RPI back on the chase as Campolito shoots it far side for Sanda. Center ice connection. Moving in is Seeger. Trying to tap it around Riley. They've had a good battle tonight. Picked out of some skates by DeGrande. And now Danny DeGrande will move it to center ice. Lobbed ahead by Ashbrook. Hits the linesman. And that will force the engineers offside by no fault of their own. 13.37 to go. In the third, shots are 28-21 RPI. The game's tied at one. You're listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey on 91.5 FM. WRPI, Troy, Perilous Garris, and Jeff Morris are here at the TV Center. Going to lean on those upper-class defensemen. The engineers are. Will Riley probably going to see a lot of minutes here in this later stage of this game. He's been playing really poised. Had some offensive opportunities early in this contest, but so far he's been... A star on the defensive side of the puck as well, canceling out the Dutchman. Riley tries to go cross ice with it. It was picked off and shot into the RPI zone. And now it's flipped back in deep by Coleus. Parker Fu causing problems in the near corner now with a shot and a save from no angle. But Fu, he's gotten the best of Babichuk on that uh, occasion. Union's first shot of the period. Uh, yes, 1-1 one, one our shots now in the period. Wow. Six minutes gone. I haven't seen Savory really had to do much so far. That really caught my eye. Yeah, he just a little turnaround shot from the corner, but... Seven minutes gone almost. Face no. off to the left of Savory, huh? No special team, so... No. The end of a power play, I guess. But Union didn't seem to mind what was going on at the beginning of the period. Here's Estes. Playing it near side, tipped into the RPI bench. Watch out, Dana. Oh, good quick reactions there from the big man. Get that glove up, Marshall. Yeah. You're in when you're Linden not even in. <laughs> wasn't oh, we got a we got a puck up there. She's got it. It went right up. There's a uh oh, the coverage. The cover of the of the uh walkway. Yeah. Yeah. It just kind of ramped up after it went by Dana. Everybody seems to be okay. She's got the puck, she's happy about it. Yeah, good catch. Right spot. Down the middle, tipped deep by Morello. RPI will chase as it sits behind the Union goal. Estes tapping it near side. Rinaldi takes a look. Estes gives it back to Rinaldi. Linden, the lone man behind the goal, trying to 
Steal it away. Now it's lobbed back into the RPI zone. Turner and Shelbird, neither of them can find the puck before Savory does. He'll cover up just outside of his net. That's yeah, a nice play by the Dutchman. It's something I really try to coach in the players at every level, especially my players, is the amount of offense and the amount of pressure you can alleviate with just a simple split, 20, 30 feet in the air. And, and it doesn't have to be, an, you actually don't want it to be an icing. That one just happened to be on net. But yeah. You get really some air under that and just negate all kinds of pressure that you're, I mean, he really didn't have an option leaving his zone, so why not? Defensive zone win for RPI. Ashford shoots it to center, forcing it into the zone as Gornel still on the puck. Still Gornel trying to drop it off, and he couldn't slip it by a sliding Briarly. Back to the point. Skip past Johnson across to help out his Hallbauer on the far side of the RPI zone. No, Hallbauer launches it in the air far side. Briarly taken over by Ashbrook. Ashbrook to the net. Ashbrook a shot is blocked down. Comes free to the near side. Ashbrook back to the point for Johnson. Johnson feeds it up the wall. Ashbrook has it with Gornel in front. That pass skipped away, picked up Hallbauer. He'll fake a shot. Hallbauer trying to center, bouncing, and now Hansen will cover as he knocks it down with a goalie stick and puts that left paw on top. 12-01 to go, third period, 1-1 game, RPI and Union. And RPI saw the Union do it, so why not do it? And they flip one up over the neutral zone, and Ashbrook gets a chance and then ends up being an offensive scurry for the engineers with a faceoff coming to... Hansen's right, but we've been watching Hall Bauer enough to know that when he races a stick like that, there ain't no way he's pulling that trigger. And he only shoots when he's he can only shoot when he pulls it quick. Yeah, he's got a quick he's got a quick release and a real hard shot. I'm actually surprised by his uh, lack of scoring. He scored, I think he had a I think three or four last year. Well, I could easily find out. The three last year. I remember he scored his first one against Notre Dame. It was an absolute howitzer. Here's a shot that comes in. It's blocked away by Hansen to the near corner, pinching in his clee. Got a little bit too much loft on that. It's out of play. And they're going to say outside the zone. They instituted a rule a couple years ago that said if you were taking a shot and it went out of play, it would automatically stay in the zone no matter if it touched anything. That was clearly not a shot, and the referee's made the right choice here. He's just trying to get it back deep in the corner. Face-off win, and Klee gets another try to get it deep, and he does. Hansen behind his own net, takes a look. He'll elect to play it near side, trying to take a almost too quick of a chance. There was Dubinsky. Now he has it hop off his stick and has to deal with Sidorsky. Flips it behind to the intended target, Polino. And back in deep it goes. Now it takes a hop off the glass, but falls right to Coleus, and he'll skate ahead. Fast Coleus now near side, into the RPI zone. Watched by Dubinsky and now Klee. Trying to throw it out in front. Jam try, no. And skips to the far side of the creek before RPI can work it out of danger. Tricky play there by Vascolius. It nearly made it 2-1. to one. Just getting pucks to the net front. It's been the Union's M.O. and they nearly made it work out there. And now a, kind of a goofy play there. Harrison went toppling over a stick. And I guess I don't think we're going to get a lot of penalties on plays such as that here in this no soft ones, I guess, here in the third. 11 minutes to go win it. Riley putting a little four-check pressure on. There's a nice catch at center by Morello intercept. Now he goes right to the net. Drop pass Burgess trying to find the puck. It's loosened some skates and played to the far side wall. Sanda had it for a moment. Seeger had it stripped away, and now Estes shoots it deep. Shelbert throws it off the skates of his own man, but luckily Linden was ready, and he kicks it to the near side. Morello flings it far side. Now Seeger. Dumps it into the RPI zone where it's gloved down by Simon Shelbert. Tour Linden across the line, and Linden's upended, and Rinaldi throws it off the skates of Burgess. Forced into the zone by Ferris, and not before the puck did, so went Ferris and offside. 10-21 to go third period, 1-1 game, RPI and Union here in this eighth Mayor's Cup. Yeah, that play that Kalias just threw up into the slot. It bounced off a defender, and that's what he's going for. You know, just get it somewhere where somebody is, and Parker Fu was crashing hard, so you got to credit him going hard to the net. It always makes coaches smile when guys are hungry, and they go hard to the net. Johnson spins back towards his own goal, hands it off to Hallbauer. Broken up at center. Shot back in by Kosen. And now Johnson. Near side to Grande waiting for it. Chips it off the boards, but not out of the zone. Kept in by Briarly. Flung to the far side corner by Ferris. 
High in the air, center ice. Briarly gloves it to himself, and he'll have to go back and get his. He didn't quite handle it cleanly. Backs up all the way to Hansen before dropping it off for Campolito. Campolito near side, tipped deep by Robertson. RPI will chase now. And here's Johnson. Not a whole lot going on this period, just the one chance that Coley has created. As it's forced into the zone by Jerry, covered up by Hansen, as that got a little bit too close to him. 9.33 on the clock, looking for a goal to break this tie, but we'll have to wait a little longer. Media stoppage coming up. Fans the game tied at one. I think, Perry, both teams are trying to just play it safe, get it deep, try to get a turnover behind their opposing goal line. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Try to force something. Try to force the D to make a mistake. You see a lot more flips in this period than we did before, so guys are playing it safe. A couple options aren't there on the breakout. Why not just get it up in the neutral zone? Not an icing, but safe. And then reset their their forecheck. So I think both teams are kind of bouncing off one another, mirroring each other, not trying to get it in. Uh, RPI still holding a five-shot edge over Union, 28-23, but I think both teams have had their bouts of speed into their respective offensive zones. Elias we just witnessed, and then RPI a scurry in front a little bit earlier. And they just seem a little bit more crisper on their odd man rushes, and even when they're even, just getting pucks in. Doing a little bit better job of winning shin pads and paraphernalia in front, and getting pucks to Hansen, or at least to the side of the cage. Well, we had two goals that are just a minute and 11 seconds apart in the second period. That's been it. Taylor Briarly and Zach Davinsky. And now we get a draw again. 16.08 of the second, an even strength goal by Briarly, his first of the year from a Melophone and Kosak. And then it was Dubinsky from Riley and Babichuk, a power play goal at 17.19. That's been it. Face-off win for RPI. Here is the aforementioned Babichuk walking in. He takes his shot. It's along the ice and scooped up by the glove of Hansen. And no rebound there. You know Babichuk shooting far pad there, try to get something to pop out in the slot. And unfortunately for him, that's also where Hansen's glove is, being a lefty catch. Babichuk off the half wall, another win. Throws it at the net, hit a shin pad. Harris then rings it around for Fu. Pressured by Ashbrook, who throws him into the wall. Bouncing puck in the slot, picked up Harrison again. He gets shoved by Lepinen. Lepinen trying to dig it out, pops free. Sidorsky picks it up, and he'll skate to center with it. Fu on his left, uses him, goes right to the net. Sidorsky trying to take a shot, and he backhanded it wide. Gornel back the other way. Moving up, nearly lost it, but gets it deep, and RPI will get a change here. Dug out by Fu, near side for Robertson. Liam Robertson, cross ice, finds Harrison, trying to dump it in. Didn't get anything on it. Now Dubinsky going to try and move it along. Kicked up the far side board. Still Dubinsky, finally chopped away by Fu. Stood up by Ferner, chance for a two-on-one, but a you know, chance-saving poke check there, probably by Choberg, as he whacked it away. And Union elects to just dump it in again. It could have been much worse there as RPI have been caught up the right side wing a little bit. Now here comes Polino, poke check off his ticket center with Little reinforcements behind him. Davinsky touch pass in for Zeke. lost the handle. Near side boards. Zeke trying to play it deeper. Davinsky up the wall. Waiting for it is Polino behind the cage. Patrick Polino recently eclipsed that 11 point plateau. Had been seeking his whole career. Picked up his 12th point last weekend. Here's Chelberger Rister. Bouncing puck. Never got to goal. It was blocked by Campolito in the end. Shot by Zeke. Blocked down by Campolito. Worked up the far side boards. Under eight to go in the third. 1 1 RPI in Union. A melophone runs into Chelberg, kept alive by Dubinsky on the far side. Now Campolito, near side Estes for Union. Takes a look, back to Campolito. Far side trying to jump the play was Chelberg. Hits the linesman, picked up there by Hallbauer. Ahead for Burgess. Burgess with some room to work in the middle of the ice. Burgess stick handling. Into the zone he goes. Still Burgess trying to carry it deeper. He gets upended there by Briarly. Shot around to the far side, comes down to the dasher for Hallbauer. Takes a look, feeds it down low, and it escapes of Burgess. Couldn't get the shot away as Briarly was right in his face. And now Briarly works it ahead for Rinaldi. To the blue line and Sanda trying to turn it ahead. Seeger, some room here for Seeger to walk in. Seeger driving the net, he shoots, and it's tipped to the far side corner. Not sure if he actually got the shot off in the end. He was being 
defended pretty well, but still had a step into the zone. Now Morello far side for RPI. Trying to throw it in front off the stick of Hansen just sat there. And now Morello works to get it back from Coleus. Good hustle there from the senior, who you can tell he wants this Mayor's Cup badly. Up the far side boards now. Union trying to clear the zone. They finally do, although Harrison goes backwards with it to Briarly. Spin move, Briarly. Center ice, Rinaldi. Far side, Harrison into the zone. Looking for a centering pass. Tip just wide. I'm not sure Rinaldi touched it or not, but he was looking for the redirect in front. Played near side. Babichuk sweeps it out to center. A lot of room on that far side, but DeGrande has to go back and get it and shoot it into the zone. Six and a half to go. Third period. Here's Parker Fu one on two. Off the skate of Riley and awkwardly into the corner they go. Now Fu has it in the corner behind the net. Kosak trying to rep try. Two cracks at it. Savory makes the stop. Herman puts him into the wall. Now to Grande to center. Estes near side. Chips it off the uh, up the near boards. Finding Ferris. Ferris will dump it in, ring it around. Bouncing puck at center, played by a melophone. He'll wrist it into the near side corner. Cornell back to try and find it. Shielding a melophone away, or make it to Robertson, rather. Bouncing puck uh, gathered up by the engineers. It's Herman at center ice. A uh, haphazard pass across the middle. Goes back to get it again. Second try, throws it near side for Babichuk in the RPI zone. Far side connection off of Gornel, chipped along by Briarly. Just across the RPI blue line. Fed near side for Gornel. Corner for lost the handle. Um, Pass back from Robertson, and that misses everybody out of the zone. Could have been something there for Union. 5.17 to go over the outstretched arm, and now a three on two for Union. Rinaldi into the zone, makes the move near side. Sanda couldn't handle it. Back to the point, Estes lines up a slap shot over the top. Now Ashbrook in the far corner. RPI got caught up ice there with a three on two. Union probably should have done better with that. We're now down to under five minutes left in regulation. Now taking a hit there was Chelberg. Mm. Uh, Ferner stick handling it precariously. Now we'll just dump it in. Near side, it's going to be Zeke. Trying to throw it out in front. It was behind Polino. And a bit of a ragtag game going on right now, especially on the RPI side as Johnson just chips up the boards to no one in particular. It's right to Estes who takes a shot. And now Hallbauer. Lobbing at center ice. Good bit of a weight on that one for Polino, but he couldn't track it down. Now Johnson for Polino. Up to Zeke. Tried to make a neat little pass off the wall, but that didn't work. Fed back into the RPI zone by Feynman. Is this his second shift? I don't know. Moved ahead by Zeke. Fed far side. Good find. It's Johnson. He'll shoot it in. Four minutes to go in the game. 1-1. Seeger on the carry, slowly to the neutral zone, avoids the hip check from Johnson and gets it deep. Now Hallbauer far side, gave it away to Seeger. He's tied up there by Linden. Up the boards, Linden trying to force it out with a skate. It's picked up by the Dutchman. Smerzeru, Campolita, brings it behind the goal. Hallbauer. Shoots it up the far side. Walworth's gloved down by Polino, trying to make a move on Briarly. Just couldn't get it done. If he did, he might have been in business as he was the last one back, Briarly. Now, Briarly overskates, turns back towards his own end, being harassed by Morello, and Briarly finally goes down. Campolino there to help him out. Near side into the bench, and we get a faceoff coming up, and then we needed a whistle. That was, <laughs> that was something else. 3 12 left, 1 1, RPI and Union. It's a good thing we ended with Jake Morello with the you know, great drive, nose to the grindstone there, there causing all kinds of trouble for Briarly and, and the Union Dutchman defense. Game. Really letting his team change, execute a change shift, a shift change. Just one on two, really. Like you said, Perry, you could just feel his sense of urgency and his passion being a senior in that leadership group. The coach mentioned him during the week as somebody he highlights out there to really inspire his team. And it's something he's been doing with, you know, not the prettiest of plays, but just his eagerness to get down there and, you know, be undersized. That's something that's given, but making all kinds of havoc and moving his feet and just being strong on his stick. And that just goes a long way, and especially late in games like this. Tie games that are really tough, and it, you get a nice face-off in your offensive zone. 
give yourself a, a better chance. After the timeout, Savory got his drink of water. He's back to the cage. Face off in the Union zone. 312 left. RPI's won 35 draws. The Union's 28. Shots are 29 27 engineers. The game remains tied at one. See what we have here. Ashbrook up against Harrison, and the engineers win the draw. Babichuk feeds it up the boards for Gornel. Turns back towards the half wall. Cross ice feed is a good one onto the tape. Riley, his shot was blocked. Glove down there by Estes. Trying to one hand it out of the zone, and it's out to Harrison at center. Stolen away momentarily by Riley up into the midsection of Fu. And now played near side for Babichuk. Ahead for Gornel. Throws it right to. Anhorn, now Babichuk trying to move it in. I thought RPI was offside there. Uh, but Harrison will play on, and uh, or Robertson will just dump it in. Behind the net, poked at by Riley to the far side. Ashbrook has a man coming. He's going to be icing here on RPI. As uh, Ashbrook kind of bailed on the play, just trying to get it out of the zone. Got too much on it. 231 left. Go ahead. Doesn't look like that uh, media timeout stopped the... The shenanigans. Crispness of play yeah. helped it at least. As both teams look very uncrisp. Pucks are just kind of going everywhere. They're taking a short change. The RPI is going to call a timeout of their own right now. Maybe they figure the media didn't work. Let's try to get Time our out. best RPI. players, rest our captain here, and get him back on that defensive zone draw, which is going to be to the right of Savory. Coaching staff really not talking to them at all but they're just giving them a chance to rest up probably find out who their best faceoff guy is Tur Linden was at the top of the mark here Lubinsky he's getting to talking to from coach Smith right now he doesn't look like he's going to be the guy out there but just to be ready because he's going to see ice in the next 150 seconds or so. 2.31 to go in regulation. Oh, Linden is heading out, so yeah. we'll switch a roo at the very last minute. Do they have to go out there, even though through the timeout it's icing? No, no. they can oh, do okay. whatever they, can they want. They can, change that, they can change that timeout. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't 100% on that, to be honest. Anyway, RPI wins the draw. Babichunk, stick handling, threw a couple to Dutchman. Now he moves it ahead. Linden into the zone. Trying to feed it far side, but swatted back to center. Now Babichuk throws a bouncing puck back to Riley. Near side, Morello trying to move it into the zone. Stood up by Sidorsky there. And now a mellophone back for Polius behind the Union net. 2.05 to go in the third period. Pay attention to this four check right here. Yeah. 1 2 2 of sorts. You got it. And they ice it. That's what I you're was trying really to force. Yeah. You're trying to force Union to stretch, and that's exactly what they did because they don't have any room to really skate. They don't want to make a mistake in their own blue line. They're playing tentative right now, and that's probably playing in the engineer's hands. So why not make the engineers win another draw? Face off here, one cleanly back. Ziki tried to take that quick shot, but it was blocked. Real good stick by Coleus to disrupt it. That one's in the mid-level yeah, suite. Way up, way up there. Usually we've seen Chase Zeke take a step or look for his yeah. D right there. That's odd that he would try to rip it with a stick right in his face. But Dubinsky, he's fresh, but RPI is one of the better teams in the league after being towards the bottom the last few years. You can credit him and Ashbrook, a couple guys that have come in and helped them on the draw. Neutralized, Zeke fires it back in. Hansen waits for it, settles it behind the net. Campolito far side for Fu. Shoots it up the boards neatly for Har uh, Harrison. Who dumps it in. Johnson wraps it near side. Waiting for it, Briarly on his backhand. Just lobs it to the near circle. Fu trying to find it there. Turning with it, Parker Fu. Takes a bump from Hallbauer. They tie up in the near corner. Dubinsky over to help out, but it's going to be Ferris trying the wrap around. Picked up by Zeke. He skates to the far side of the zone and shoots it near side for Hallbauer. Hallbauer leading the rush. Pass ahead of Polino, trying to track it down. He'll fight for it with Briarly. They both overskate. Picked this up Campolito. One minute period. to go in regulation. Lobbed far side where it's intercepted by Briarly, who wants to skate, but no one's with him. Kosak finally joins, and Briarly chips into the corner. Shelburne. 
takes a bump. Now spinning away as Ferner fell down. Played to the near side. Ashbrook trying to get there. Seeger beats him to it. A mellophone takes a hit from Chelbert. Battle for in the near corner. Gorno waits for it on the half wall. Kicked at uh, by Ashbrook. Is still in the near corner of the RPI zone. They can't get it out of there. 26 to go in the period. Shelbert finally some breathing room to center. He'll stick handle into the zone. Pulls him at the point, tries to throw it down low. It's picked off by Estes. Now Rinaldi, one-on-one -on -one with Riley. Rinaldi walking in, poke check away. And it's shot around to the near side with 10 seconds to go in the period. Estes up the wall. Back down for Gornel with five. Three seconds left, Gornel walking in with two. He'll pull it back and feed the cross. I don't think he knew how much time shot was left. Ball in the period. If he did, he might have shot the clock because he slammed the stick on it. Yeah, he knew it after the pack. Really small, really small letters on both sides. You can't really tell, but he might have tried to feed Ashbrook or at least rip it to the net and hope for some kind of odd bounce. But here we go again in overtime. Here, RPI 1-0 and 1 in OT, and Union 2-1 and 2. And so their far. overtime win was a pretty uh, uh, miraculous one, or a very uh, a couple seconds left. Yeah. Right? Well, it, yeah, real. It was early. It was they tied Brown, and with with a couple seconds left, right. and then they beat them 36 seconds into OT. So it was a. It was an exciting OT win. The tie was. Oh, yeah, uh, I was there. Yeah, you were there. The tie. <laughs> the tie. I don't remember. So we'll do this again no, one no more time offense. in Mayor's Cup. Second year in a row, these two teams can't get it done in 60 minutes. The unions had. The tie was Princeton 2 2. I wasn't there, so that's why I don't remember it. Ah. The union's been up and down with their overtime play. They Last three times they've been in overtime since the end of December. They come out of the top, they beat St. Lawrence five to four in OT. I guess that's a low bar right now. <laughs> and there's two ties, Providence and Cornell, which is a huge moral victory to play that well against number one coming into your barn. So yeah, they have two OT wins. Yeah. We see Liam Same. Robertson headed to the locker room right now. Yeah. For what is going on? A telephone back there. He's back out on the bench. As two minutes of intermission here, and we will be switching sides. Yeah. Is that that's a uh, well? We we kind of uh, negated that one. Yeah. That, that the uh, the myth I think has been broken. Because <laughs> both goals were scored in the second period. That's right. So each net has seen a goal in it. It's possible. If RPI scores, it'll be in the uh, end where the two teams are having their fan fest or alumni gatherings on the lower bowl on the ice level. And to the pep band end. At least RPI's pep band. Uh, right. Not the Union. Oh, I didn't realize Union had a pep band here. <laughs> they, weren't, they weren't here for the women's game, so I didn't see them. And they have like 12 people here. All right, five minutes of overtime unless we get a winner. That's what we all want. Will we get it? Only time will tell. Johnson behind the RPI goal. Tied up there. Takes a hit from a mellophone after being undercut on the other side, but it's the engineers that break the center. Trying to find Morello, and they're on side. Now it's chipped back the other way. Gathered up by Jake Johnson at his own blue line. Down the middle for Burgess, makes a move. Flip far side, right back to Burgess. Trying to move it into the zone, he does. Linden gonna get there first. Trying to backhand it in front, picked up by Burgess. Burgess looking for a lane. Drop pass there for Hallbauer. Across for Johnson. Johnson near side. Burgess a shot. Oh, saved by Hansen. Stays on the ice. Johnson near side for Hallbauer. Hallbauer fires one towards goal. Loose in the slot. And it'll be swept away by Kosak. Oh, an opportunity there for the engineers. Good passing. And now we have an icing against Union. So RPI, the upper hand in the first minute of OT. As Todd Burgess was nearly the hero, looking for goal number five, the senior from Phoenix. Well, it all started with Jake Johnson getting balled in the back of his own net, but somehow coming away with it. And RPI comes down, and now I think Union's going to take their timeout. And that's well earned, at least for Hanson. What a save he made. I think that hit the shaft of his stick. Yeah, I think you're right. 
as RPI, we all thought everybody was going to shoot when they got the puck, and then they found another man breaking late. Burgess let one rip far side, just getting the handle of Hansen's paddle. And Union back on the heels a little bit after they got really aggressive off the draw to start this overtime frame. A couple of uh, good looks for RPI. Sometimes they just got to get it to the net, though. I think that's what works. You don't always have to look at the backdoor play. Absolutely. And uh, you know, on this timeout, RPI has to be feeling pretty good about themselves. They got a, some shooters out there right now. I don't know if any of these guys out there I wouldn't want taking a shot if you're RPI. You got Dubinsky, Polino, Zeke, Riley, Babichuk, they can all fire it. Doesn't always happen. Or if you're an RPI fan to see that many guys you can trust to shoot the puck. Here is uh, Riley, just feeds it ahead for Zeke. He'll fire it in. Comes down off the glass on the far side. Polino at the half wall, keeps it deep. Race for the puck. Zeke gets there first. Zeke back to the point for Babichuk. Some room out there. Now Riley, he'll fire one on goal. Loose on the side of the net. Zeke slid to the ice, trying to put that one on, and he's uh, upended. Fans wanted a call, but again, you know, really take someone down. Take a penalty there. Looked like he was headed to the ice on his own anyway. Wrapped in by the engineers. Three and a half to go in OT. Trying to get a change. Harrison up ahead of the play. He'll flip it deep, and Shelberg will chase. Behind the RPI net. For 3.20 to go in OT, the Mayor's Cup. Here comes Ashbrook, near side, drops it off. Gornel, far side feed, hit the skate of Sanda. He tries to clear it out and does the center. Chelbert turns it around in a hurry for RPI, far side. Ferner shoots it in. Stopped by Hansen behind the cage, takes a look. Elects to play it far side, but gave it away to Ashbrook. Ashbrook back to the point. Shot coming, looking for a redirect from Gornel, didn't get it. Swatted back to the middle, and Sanda's there. And he'll skate it to center ice, throws it behind Rinaldi. He's going to try and beat Chelberg to the other side, but Chelberg wins the race. And now Chelberg will stick handle to center. Across the red line and dump it in near side. Behind the goal it goes. Briarly shoveling it up the wall. Waiting for it is Rinaldi at the far half boards. Chip towards the blue line, kept in by Linden. He'll scoop it down low for, Ry uh, for Morello. Continues it on to the near side. Riley pinches it. Linden, far side. Morello, he's pinned up there. Uh, by Ferris, and now we got a stalemate in the corner. 2.19 to go in OT. Linden trying to dig it out. Campolito does, and now Sanda near side. On to Rinaldi. Trying to win it back at center was Babichuk. Into the zone they go, swept back to center. Engineers need to touch up. Babichuk's just going to fire it in wide a goal. Engineers will get a partial change going as Briarly has it there. D to D in his own zone for Campolito. Campolito shoots it off the boards, poked on by Harrison. Lobbed up the wall. Polino trying to find it, but it goes out of play. And he might have been in business there as Union was in the middle of the change. And that puck just crept over the glass. The faceoff's coming up in the RPI zone. Doesn't have to be pretty to get up ice, does it? Polino's up there acting like a receiver, waiting for that ball to come down on a, like a punt return. Or he's off to the races. Yeah. Would have had a crack for sure. 147 left in OT. Face off sits on the dot. Babichuk shoved back into the near corner of the RPI zone. Kosak runs into Coleus. Shot around to the far side. That one eludes his man. Babichuk a chance. Out comes the netminder. Hansen lifts it ahead for Kosak. He just had a, enough time to get that one away. And now Picked up again by Babichuk. He'll fire it into the attacking zone. Hansen stops it there, feeding it far side. Kosak, broken up by Zeke, spins it in front. Walking Polino, Polino across, a shot! It's underneath Hansen! Oh, Polino! In all of my years, I thought he was gonna shoot that puck, <laughs> and he elects to pass it, and I think Hansen was able to break it up. Zeke was a little bit too close to try and get his shot away. I don't know if that was, I thought that was Ashbrook, but maybe you're right, it was Zeke who was on the back door, but Polito ended up being a two-on-one right in front, and Hansen just had to make a diving 
kind of head first right to get that puck. This is a, we're getting shown the Babichuk almost breakaway where Hansen smartly comes out and plays that. 113 left in OT, RPI wins the draw, shot comes in, that's blocked. Hallbauer again. Stick handles up the wall. Still Hallbauer calling for it, the point is Ashbrook. Now he'll find him. A little bit of pressure. Hallbauer lines on the far side, down the way. Fans don't like it. As now it's lobbed back to center with 55 to go. Up the near side for Gornel. And now kicked into the zone by Fu. Chopped back to center with 45 seconds to go in OT. Estes will hammer it in. Wrapping around for Riley. And now lob back to center. Campolino doesn't know where it is. It's over his head. Riley back to get it with 32. Gornel chases Briley from behind the goal. Briley now skating near side. Shoots it into the RPI zone with 24. Shelbert picked up there by Hallbauer. Morello breaking, finds him there. Morello trying to move it into the zone. They both go down, picked up by Burgess. Burgess trying to drive the net. He goes down, tries to flip it out in front from his seat. With nine seconds to go, it's pinned up by Rinaldi. He's waiting for a shootout. Now it's picked off, four seconds in the period. And that'll do it for OT. And for the second year in a row, we're going to a shootout in the Mayor's Cup. 1-1 one, one after 65 minutes. Basket, they have to switch again the sides. I don't know if Avery's being told he can probably stay where he's at. And they will stay where they're at. Perry mentioned. Get another minute break before they decide who's going to be shooting. And I guess the coaches right now for RPI, Smith, Weber, they're huddling up, figuring out who they want to shoot. Whereas Union's really not doing much huddling at all. They're just kind of, hey, this is what it is. But these two teams have had a crack at this before, and Union has come out on top last year. Not much stats to roll on other than that. Other than exhibitions, you really don't see this in college hockey. Special games like this, where a trophy has to be awarded. Both goalies certainly have been up to the task tonight. And so going from their playing performance, you really don't know how's it going to shake out. Let's see enough of these guys one on O to look and no, usually a lifetime statistics are spouted about this time, but these guys rarely have <laughs> no, them. Yeah, they don't have those. Looks like Babichuk's going to be the first one to go for the engineers. RPI and they did switch sides, so they just took a while. So Savory did go down to his home net, closer to his bench. So. Not too captivating on radio, but here we go anyway. Corey Babichuk, the first shooter for RPI against Darian Hansen. Babichuk, saved by Hansen. Ran out of room on the move. Tried to go to his backhand, the right hand shot, or left hand shot. Couldn't sneak it around Darian Hansen. 0 for 1 is for RPI. Number eight, Anthony nice little move, but just that long leg, that long left leg of Hansen. Maintains pressure to the ice and keeps that puck out. And now the senior Rinaldi for Union. Right hand shot moves left in the zone. Slowly in, a left pad save by Savory. He ran out of room too. He didn't even really get a shot away. No, I think the puck just left his blade a little early and not exactly Marshawn worthy, but. <laughs> Definitely something he wants back. All right, here comes Polino. He's definitely shooting this. <laughs> Polino walking in. He scores! Patrick Polino goes top shelf on Hansen, and RPI takes a 1 0 lead. 
Hey, he wanted that one back from his earlier pass. Sean this top corner, bar down, no big deal. Big shot here, Sean Harrison trying to equalize. Takes it wide left, lefty shot walking in on Savory. Save by Owen Savory. And now Burgess can win it. Yeah, Savory just staying close pad with that five ball. And he's been low, he's been just brilliant low all night. A uh, senior can win it for the engineers. Burgess walking in, he scores! And the Mayor's Cup belongs to the engineers once again. Wait, we're not yet. Five? They must. I thought we were doing three. Oh boy, a real wrinkle here. That would be. That's a heck of a celebration for for first. <laughs> but all it's right, all we up got more. Savory, we yeah. got more. They didn't tell me. Who walking in? Who stole by Savory? And now if we get a goal, it's really over. <laughs> that was that was a warm up. <laughs> that was a warm up, Andrew. We were ready. Savory's stuffing them all. Now another senior. Why not? Send all the seniors out there. They want to win this thing. I apologize. Here comes Zeke for the win. Oh, a save by Hansen. Right pad stop, and he was shooting as well. We've had three shots in a row for RPI. No deeks yeah. after Babacher. Oh, once Leo they figure they could just try to force it in, why not? Hansen's strong on his right pad there. Zeke maybe probably missed his mark, more like it. And now a last chance for the Dutchman, it's Robertson. Robertson in, off the crossbar! And the engineers now are Bears Cup champion! Oh, and Savory was rock solid all night as Robertson snapped the stick in half. The engineers have ended the drought and the Bears Cup belongs to Troy once again. Wow, what a finish here. Well, well deserved by this squad, and especially Owen Savory got a little help, and he deserved that, every bit of that bar to keep that puck out as he just denied every one of their shooters. It's some poetic justice from last year. Hansen fed it to him. Just some perfect shots, really, from Burgess and Polino. Can't fault him at all for his performance tonight. And the engineer is just a tad bit sharper in the offensive zone, enough to equalize, enough to keep pressure on in the third period, and Savory enough to keep the pucks out of his net in overtime and in the shootout. Oh boy. Well, we had a, a wild finish here in a shootout. And what a what a game for a number of seniors. I mean, Riley was great. Morello was probably the best player now without a point here, without a shootout goal, too. But you look at the, a great finish by Polino. He was fired up when he buried that one. And uh, Burgess as well. And then rock solid Savory. They didn't get one by him. That's how you win a shootout. You see, he was making sure that he was taking one of these home, too. Credit to these guys that played hard all day. The defensive board battling back after that odd goal. But, you know, Briarly with great hand-eye coordination gets that first one, but you got to credit the engineers for buckling down when it seemed that everything was kind of moving towards Union's favor, even though RPI had a strong first period. But the trophy is out on the blue line. And the presentation is just moments away as the mayors are now heading to the ice. Here they come. There they are. There's Mayor Sheen of, of Albany. She's going to pass off that cup At to the rightful time, owners. Will present the Mayor's Cup trophy to Troy Mayor Madden, who is joined by our Ma Mayor Madden's wearing the right colors, all red sweater and a red hat. He's going to hand it off to Will Riley. Congratulations to the city of Troy. As uh, Riley raises the cup over his head. It's finally back in Troy. And yeah, they're going to toss some of the gear aside and line up for and the group the shot. And please arrive home safely. 
We have the whole staff in there. All right. All, all the, all the, uh, those are the scratches. All the scratches are real fired up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, what a what a way to end this thing. I, I want you, you want the game to end in regulation. You yeah, I'm sure. I was just thinking Owen Savory. You know, the guys tried to deserve. <laughs> he deserved the game to be to be ended in regulation. Probably didn't deserve to go through that stress the way he played. But in the end, he just got another feather in his cap for being just that rock solid, which he was, making oh. a name for himself really. Owen Savory, the best goalie to have never officially won a Mayor's Cup, you could say. <laughs> he's got two ties to his credit. His numbers aren't spectacular. I mean, 26 saves tonight, but he's made some big ones. There are a couple of uh, the two on O's, two on one plays he had to make stops on. The goal was, uh, give Riley credit, but it was kind of a fluky play. He just kind of happened to be skating by and hit the puck a second time. Yeah. And, uh, but luckily for him, his team got him a goal tonight, and our fan was able to hit that uh, Get that big W. Yeah, just some strong play and a lot of minutes as Will Riley now with a lap with the cup hands it to Polino, who will hand it to Zeke as they take a small lap for the fans. The ones remaining who got to see a really good game. You don't, oh, you yeah. know, slowed down there and a bit in the second with a couple of face offs and a couple of quick shots, but there was some. Up and down play and great plays, great saves, nifty pass work. We had some breakaways just by the nature of the shootout, so fans got to see that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Polino's pointing to the band. Yeah, and they came all the way out here. There's a big contingent of RPI Pep Band members here tonight. Great Absolutely. support all around. Both Absolutely. teams really loud building tonight, Perry. Yeah, real loud. 6,000, uh, I want to say 6,100 something, I think. I got it. I got it. Perry gets that. I'll thank the Rensselaer yeah, Union one more time, which provides the funding for WRPI and all club related activity of the Institute, including WRPI's coverage of RPI hockey, football, and baseball. A reminder that WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your browser to WRPI. Org. You can pick up WRPI's broadcast seven days a week, 24 hours a day. So long as WRPI is broadcasting, we're going to provide that broadcast on the internet feed. And the next game for us will be next Friday night when the engineers host Dartmouth right back in Troy at the Houston Fieldhouse, 7 o'clock. Oh, yeah. We will be there for that. In person, you'll probably be on the air. Uh, yeah, I think I think so. But we'll see. And the engineers get a overtime, not enough shootout. Yes, That's Savory true. officially goes down two to one as the winner. Unofficially. 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 Unofficially two to one as the winner. <laughs> Officially one to one as the another tie. tie. Yeah. But the fans got what they came for. Yeah, I mean, you can tell the fans this game was a tie all you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to do, do any good. Cup's going to be on campus. That's true. For them. RPI snaps a three-game losing streak in the Mayor's Cup as they get a couple of shootout goals from Patrick Polino and Todd Burgess. Union in the shootout, they got nothing because Owen Savory stopped them all. Didn't even get to our fifth round. <laughs> and with that, we'll say some, uh, we, got, we got to the thank yous. Did you already do that? Got to the thank yous. Yeah, Max Shore's back at the station, though, helping us out. Emily, Emily, the new sports director, is back there. Excellent. She's done a great job all weekend. We got women's hockey last night. We got a doubleheader tonight. She's been on the on the board. And we'll be uh, you know, excited to get her off the hook and, and head on out of here. So for Perilous Garris, I'm Jeff Morris. Times Union Center, we brought you the Mayor's Cup. RPI, the unofficial 2-1 to one winners in shootout. Officially, it'll go down in the books as a 1-1 tie. We'd like to thank everyone back at the station, including Emily, getting us on the air. And for Perry Lascaris, I'm Jeff Morris. Once again, you've been listening to the live coverage of Engineer Hockey on WRPI 91.5 FM WRPI Troy.